Fog's here too. How are we all doing tonight? Oh, come back. Ah, you left. What's up, everybody? Hope we're all doing well. I'm not late. You're just early. Um, welcome back to another Tuesday night comic book auction and claim sale. We'll buy it now. A bin sale. What? Call it what the fuck you want. Just buy some comics. Uh, yeah, cool. It's going to be another great, awesome, fun-filled, action-packed show. Action. 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 Might be a lot of dialogue. Might, might, be, might be funny. Might be a lot of jokes. Yeah, I'm calling it. It's going to be a fun show. Oh. Stay tuned. Buckle up. You're going to laugh a little. At least you're going to see some cool books. I'm... Uh... I don't know. I hate doing intros. I suck at talking. There's five of you waiting. Awesome. I mean, five of you here. Appreciate that. Shout out the chat. Starscream was an early bird. Good for him. You guys are welcome to share the show as well. Nah, don't do it. Don't share the show with anybody. Keep all the deals to yourself. Secrets. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, Emmy Comics, what's up? Yeah, buy a book for me. Yeah, pay me Friday. Buy a book today. Do it. Do it. Do it. Mr. Taz, in the junior, peanut butter, oh boy. All right, cool, that's everybody. Apparently I was having a baby, says Cat 60. Says Dad 60. Waka, waka, waka. Thomas Zarabinsky. Even yet the Zorro. And John. All right, cool, yeah, guys. How do you? How do you? How do you? How do you? Um, what's the rules? Yeah, rules is always rules. Let's go around and say hi, everybody, first, and then we'll do rules, I guess. Let's show faces. Let's do this guy. This big, this big hi, everybody. Man. Hi, Dr. Pat. How are we tonight? We are good. I hope. We are Legion. We are Legion. Nice. I got, I got the best lot coming up next, so... Okay. okay. <laughs> Fuck. Stellar. It's promising. Hey, what's, up, to here? what's up, everyone here that's here in the chat here? It's good to see you guys. Uh, yeah, share it with your bros. Share it with your hoes. Bring them all up in here and we can all have, have a good time. Boats and hoes. Sounds romantic. Yeah, share it with your boats, share it with your hoes. Share it with your bros and your hoes. Or you know, five guys named Joe. Actually, it's five guys named Joe. Excuse me. Fucking shit up. Spin, hey, my top spender, I might just, I don't know. I might give what? like a free commission out to my top spender tonight. What? We'll see. Yeah, what? I think it'd be fun. What? Did you say blowjob? A free blowjob and a free commission. Now oh, that's a deal. Yeah. I mean, right you know, on, not right on. The commission, but at least you got a blowjob out. That's a deal. It's just a big deal. Okay. Caroline. Hey everybody. Hope you guys are having a good night. And uh you know, got some books here, got some books there, book book everywhere, and um I'm here to talk a lot of trash with these guys because they just they bring it out of me. They bring the trash <laughs> talk out and I feel comfortable. Um but also wanna show you guys some books and uh hopefully we'll just have a good time and uh that is that. Thank you, sir. Um, but also Oops. It's always something. <laughs> ah, cool, cool, cool. Jordy's here too. What's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, Shorty might sling a book or two. Hadn't made up her mind yet. I'm mainly here to try to keep a wrangle on this zoo, if that is at all possible. Um, but yeah, never know. Shorty's kind of liquidating a lot of her collection, so. Yeah, you might just find a random who knows what the fuck it is like going up for like starting at a book. Just because, you know, I am eliminating some shit. So you never know. <laughs> Hurry up, Parker. Give me the screen, Parker. Hurry up, Parker. Hey, Whoa, hurry up. Welcome Parker. back. Holy this fool running around the damn house. I'm having audio issues. I'm trying to like switch to my other phone. Of course, the other phone is basically dead. 
So it's going to be an interesting night. As per usual. Did you say you just killed your clone? Killed my clone. Yeah, I just buried him down a smokestack. That's so crazy, Peter Parker. Yeah, I know. It's not the first his time. Clone is bru- his clone is brute. Brute from in. Dang. <laughs> You're muted. You're muted, cat. Cat, show us some shh. You're muted. Yeah, You're yeah, muted, yeah. cat. <laughs> Did I mute me? You mute it yourself, well, but now you're good. All right. I want to. Uh, I want to start, man. I'm so you excited start? about my lot. Yeah, he took it over it. time and she used we'll some shit. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> For one dollar, you can buy my nads. <laughs> I know you're ready for this. I knew you weren't For one dollar, you could buy my nads. I'm telling you, you're gonna want to buy these nads. Yeah. This is an exclusive set of nads. Yes, I have. I have one nad and two nads. It's like thing one and thing two, only they're nads. It's the freedom nad uprising, and let me tell you, when nads seek freedom and uprise, shit. Hits the fan. <laughs> these these were Lady my seems nads. to know an awful lot about nads, y'all. Just saying. <laughs> these were my nads. They can now be yours. Wow. And he's in. So if anybody wants cats, uh, cat so wrinkly nads, there they are. <laughs> Emmy Emmy Comics <laughs> wants my nads. Okay, oh, listen, well. Cat might be rolled and wrinkly, but his nads are twenty year old nads. Hey, these are no, but Tristan, you just take your word for it, buddy. These are near mint nads. They're as smooth as eggs, those nads. (laughs) Why don't I show show the spot? Um, And one thing Peter Parker forgot to mention is this is not a family show. Please, no one knows me under the age of 18. This is not a family oriented show. Please, for the sake of God and everything holy, please remove your children from the room. (laughs) Yes. Pete, you gotta go. Pete, you have to and, leave. And it's it's an adult show. <laughs> keep the phone and keep the phone with nine one one on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! You want to buy my nads? Right now, his nads are only going for a dollar. So it means I, I mean, take these nads for a buck. <laughs> I, I'm insulted. <laughs> We still got over a minute so on the, the nads, man. What's the significance of this package? <laughs> they were my nads. Yeah. Okay. Now they're yours. Now they're, it, it appears they're going to be Emmy's nads. They look like they still have a lot of gloss on them. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. It's, it's weird. What's as, too as early for pair, this guy? As a pair, <laughs> they sell for 10 bucks, but they sell for $9 each. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> It's weird. Oh, now you got some nibbles on the nads. Star screams in for the nads. Josh wants the nads. Finally, finally, Cat is getting some attention on his nads. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. These are these are beautiful nads. Emmy said he'll give you five for them. One one of two nads. And two of two nads. AKA left and right dad. Oh dear. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I, I don't I don't hear that enough. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Lord, star screen, Jesus Almighty. So right now it's still anybody's game. Right now, Emmy's okay, for, leaving it with five. Josh and Starscream is still in there. For for thirty bucks, the most random shit could get thrown in there. Well, there you go, guys. How about some prison fucking random shit? Thirty bucks. Some some prison. Um, uh, I I believe that this is a big book. At one at one point, it's going to be pretty big. It's you know a little 
Department of yeah, Truth. Yeah, the Department of Truth is hot all over the place. But that's pretty random, isn't it? All right, so we got a fold from Josh. We're still waiting to figure out what Starscream wants to do. That's like a foil lot. All right, guys, come on. Let's not let's not waste what time. What you doing, Star Screen? You gonna have me put a thirty second timer on you, buddy? Five ninety nine. Are you so really? I'm going. I'm saying he's in at six because I yeah. shorty don't shorty don't fucking play that shit. Star Screams in at six. You better make your mind up, Star Scream. I will put your ass in there for six. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Jay, um, Jacob? I think you're. I think you're good, bro. After yeah, Jacob. I think you're pretty answer. solid on that. I don't see it flopping at all. Yeah, I have a big feeling. If you invested a lot of money in in Department of Truth in another <laughs> four or five months, you're going to start seeing some big payoffs. All right. So Emmy's going to take it for seven. There you go. Thank you, Emmy. Uh, speaking, speaking of it flopping, we're not talking about the Nats or talking about. <laughs> so there's some flopping uh, Nats. Oh, that's a clean logo. <laughs> Damn, that is pretty clean. All right, we got his Nats and his mouth. Let's do it. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, sure. Look, look who is look who is tonguing Jane Foster. This Mac Daddy. Anyway, I got a, uh, this is going to be an Avengers lot. There's quite a bit of books here, so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, it's going to start off at 10, so I got issue 5 of all new, all different uh, Avengers. I might have to move this thing back. We got that uh, homage cover on 6. We got number 7. These are uh, Alex Ross covers. Number 8, number 9, 10. 11. This is a sick ass Annihilus cover. Uh, 12. This is number one of Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers. Issue two. It's the Mark Wade run. Issue three. Four. I threw off. I threw these standoffs in here because I don't know what the hell they are or where they go. I got issue four of this. Uh, this is a limited series. Uh, one of through four, four through four of four. I have here. Issue one's a variant cover. If that's your sort of thing. Excellent. And then I have a. Uh, <clears throat> I have Avengers. One, I have Avengers uh, 15, 1959. I have uh, Avengers six seventy three, six seventy four. Uh, I threw in a free comic book day. And it's back around to the, uh, to the, to the tongue swapping heroes here. Right now, you got King Ken and it can. All right, uh, I think we need are to all, be. These are all in high grade. We'll be fifteen to ship this lot. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> well, you guys consider. Why you should be getting in, and Keith's the only one. Uh, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Frank Miller Electra hardcover. It's like an omnibus type of thing. Yeah, Marvel omnibus. Uh, I got forty dollars on that. Buy it now. <clears throat> now I got these. Uh, I got these Serpieri books. Druna Serpieri. These are these are like adult books. Uh, Druna. Uh, heavy metal. Um, I have 50 on the pair. 50 on the pair of those Serpieri books. <clears throat> what is the story on the Bloodstones? They're just sitting there, man. They're just sitting there looking good, man. That's it. There is no story on them. Damn Bloodstones. So we have Peter uh, coming in at 12, and then Keith is like, uh uh, Parker, back your ass up. 14. I mean, I'm taking offers. I got a nine six and nine four, and then I got one through four roll near a minute. But I guess I'm taking offers on them. They're not. I'm not like out here 
you know, trying to hustle. It's a little bit of a flex. You know how this game goes. You got to flex a little bit. I mean, it's no 9-8 wall or anything, Keith, but. Come on, Parker. Keith said get up out of his Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> a lot of beautiful books, all in high grade, a lot of Alex Ross. Um, oh, shit. Marcella said, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Check this out. This is like all their masks and helmets. Super sick, super sick. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and this a nihilist cover. Do you look? Do you see this, Parker? I'm aware. Pretty sick. Nice Miles cover. Right now you got Keith at thirty. <clears throat> a nice Kane cover. You got anything Look. else you want to throw in? Since they already in a fifteen dollars shipper. King King the Conqueror, Immortus, uh, Silver Centurion, Iron Lad, and uh, what? Rum Tut? Who's that last guy, Parker? Rum Tut. That's all King the Conqueror in different timelines and universes. Isn't that so cool? So cool. All right, so right now, still anybody's game. It's between Parker. Keith and Marcella. Um, looks yeah. like those are the only ones in right now. I will say, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if a lot of people know that Iron Lad is a is King the Conqueror. Uh, Iron Lad's a young Avenger. All right, so uh, Marcella was at thirty two. Parker folded. Keith went to thirty five. Yeah, I don't have any extra toss-ins uh, at this moment. I apologize. Um, I do have some buy. I got some buy nows for anyone interested. I got twenty dollars on one through nineteen of Copperhead. Uh, I don't know who these creators are, but uh, there's there's at least uh, nineteen issues, so it must not be that bad. Um, I have one through twenty-nine for thirty of Animal Man New Fifty Two. $20 on 1 through 13. Jeff Johns, Jim Lee, Justice League near Uh $20 on 1 through 11 of Batwing. Uh, first appearance of uh, Talon. There's, a two, there's two versions of Talon. One version uh, is the first appearance in New 52 Batman. This is a different Talon that was resurrected from the dead. So there's two different Talons. Who knows what they'll use first. <clears throat> 20 bucks on that one. Six. All right, uh, we got a photo from Parker and Marcella, so it looks like it's going to go to Keith for 35. Appreciate you, Keith. Just had 15 shipping. Uh, uh, I may have a booker, booker here. I'm, I'm not for sure, but I'll just I'll, see. I'll get them out as I'll get them out ASAP, friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Good pick up, Keith. 60% of the time, it works every time. For sure. All right, guys. I've got a um, 12 book Marvel lot. Um, some older school stuff. I'll show you. It's going to start at five bucks, five dollar auction style. 12 book lot. We've got King Size Special, The Inhumans, The Untold Story. This is how they encountered the Fantastic Four. So there you go. Got Buckaroo Bonsai, number one. Team America, number one. Newsy. Number two, Newsy. And then the final issue, number 12. Master of Kung Fu, number 31, 25 center. And you got a little fading up there in the corner. Um, what's up, Marcella? $5 starting bid. I don't know if anybody's got a line or anything like that. Thank you, Shote. Uh, call the Conqueror, or yeah, call the Destroyer, my bad. 
Um, number 16 it is also a 25 center. Ooh. Then we've got the um, Todd McFarlane uh, cover of the Amazing Spider-Man Skating on Thin Ice. So this was put out in Canada, um, but it was like a don't do drugs kind of thing. And you yeah, see, not, not what you see every day. Yeah. No, it's a little harder to find because it was um, exclusive to Canada. So when you see it here, it's cooler. You know, it's cool to see. Um, yeah, I think, got, uh, I think Spider Man's confiscating all the kids' as drugs so he can take them. Yep. Probably. Probably. Um, Marvel <laughs> Tales, number 89. Number 92, this is the Hammerhead. Number 94, Aunt May Assassin. Look at that. She's such a badass. Um, <laughs> issue 208 with Red Sonia. That's cool. There you go. And uh, that's it. That's your lot. Nice. Five bucks. That's a lot of books. Yeah. Well, uh, books you, for five bucks. If you've seen this, if you've seen that lot in the wild for twenty, you would pick it up. No doubt about it. Such a good starting price. Hey, what's up, unknown Mister Unknown Comics guy? Peter Parker's in at six. Still got a minute and a half on the timer, guys. Team America. America. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, these guys are these guys roll with cap too. I've seen some Team America Captain America books. Yeah, two sixty nine, I wanna say. I love uh trade dress like uh scramble like I love shit getting messed with. Yeah, I love yeah, the, I think uh, I think yeah, somebody should collect all those. Uh, this is the first appearance of uh Snow Buster, I wanna say. Where's the timer? Take up your ass, you no comic journey. I'm just joking. Oh, there is no timer. box has been going. We wing this. <laughs> it's taken. That's where it's at. Taken away. I mean, for five, where are we at? Six bucks? Six yep. bucks. Six bucks. Come on, man. For Come on. 12 bucks. Don't you let penis take this. They going to do it because it's fixing this timer for to go off. Don't call me by my given. They going to do it. Here it come. Here it come, y'all. You people are sleeping. I'm going to box with you, right? I'm, 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 I'm afraid to play <laughs> I can't watch that lock go for six months. Neither can Trey. Look at these locks. The end line. Mr. Taz. Go in the end line. Ain't no worry about no end line now. And Ladies, yeah. take your step. Yes. Here's your answer, Mr. Taz. Yes. You do take money orders, right? How uh, about Tic Tacs? We don't know. We accept Tic Tacs? <laughs> <laughs> She said only if they're previously used. Do you accept blowjobs? It's the only question. You know what? I'll take a blowjob. <laughs> oh, God. I'm out. Yeah, I got to fold on that one. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we got Mr. Taz in at 10. Hey, is that you a friend? Right there? Sorry. Can, can you go back to that one last one? No. I'm thinking is, this is a Frank Miller cover. No. Or is it a Romita cover? It's a Romita. That was Romita back in the day. I mean, Miller may have done this one, but... He did the uh, Punisher annual. Um, that one is... I mean, it's Spider-Man book. Spider-Man annual with Punisher in it. It's like a newsprint. Right, the door screen. Those Jeez. are some great gloves. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, right, so screen. it looks like this is going to go to Mr. Oh, Tad. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't get the fold yet. Well, you better hurry up because I'm pissing the drop it in line. Man, I, you don't I get special for reading around here. Bonsai. That's the first appearance of Buckaroo, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I would imagine. That's what my mom called me oh. when I was a kid. Say, you lucky. I'm telling you, you Fox don't play around, man. Jordy said, I'm going to drop an inline on it, Peter's ass. Yeah, we, we ain't got all night. Now Mr. Taz has got to rethink his fucking life choices right now because Parker's being a fucking cunt cake. Dude, cut. What? A what? A what? Mr. Taz, take that lot, dude. I I messed up. I should have stayed in because this fucker is bonsai. Lady, add one more book so uh, Cat can come back in. She fucking oh, one eighty one. Web of Spider Man sixty nine newsstand. This now is, anybody can jump in. This is the issue right before um, this spider the Spidey Hulk issue. So it's a two um, issue storyline, and this is sixty nine, and then seventy is like the big popular one that everybody and their mama knows about. Sixty nine, dude, and it's a newsy. Sixty-nine, you say. And this is Todd McFarlane, anti-drug. Yeah, this one's good. This one's Say no good. to drugs, guys. Say no drugs. Cigarettes. Beer. Parker's in at twenty. He, he forgot meth. He forgot meth. Meth, meth actually probably didn't exist when he, he redrew that. Oh, I think it did. Yeah, it was back when Quaaludes was popping too. What's what's the condition <laughs> of that fucker bonsai? What's the condition? We need to get a solo. Um, well, it looks like at about an eight. Oh, um, it's direct edition. You don't want that car. It's not worth anything. <laughs> Listen to Peter Parker talking smack, y'all. Yes. All of these Parker books are on I'll overpay for that thing. I don't care. The only one I, the only one I would sell is the one she just added. So I didn't care about that. God damn it. All right, well, then you buy it. Damn it. Then you buy it and you send that one to me. No, I want the buckaroo. I need it for my Marvel library of number ones. Oh, that's my buckaroo. I already got uh, what I get off you. Steel Town Rockers. That's the fucking best right there. Yeah, you got. All right, guys. We got a little cat fight going on. Mr. Taz cat right fight. now. He doesn't step back and let these two little girls pull hair for a minute. <laughs> no, he's in the thick of it. No, he's finna come in swinging on y'all. Y'all over here, cat scratching and hair pulling. Break it up, break it up. All right, you can have it, Mr. Taz. Break it up. There you come. There you come. Throwing elbows. What I tell you. All right. I feel bad. I feel bad going against him, but I really want that bunker bunker. Dexter. That's our chat. That's our fan. Here's the big Parker and Lady, do you guys agree or not agree that that looks like James Woods? Yes, agree. Yes. Yeah, it does. It's probably just it's probably just agree. My favorite line from that movie, no matter where you are, no matter where you may be, there you are. Something like that, he says. So That's the catism. My favorite quote from no that movie is, uh, you may be, what's the difference between jelly and jam? Oh, Lord, don't ask. <laughs> Stop it, I don't like that joke. <laughs> Stop it, I don't it's like funny. that joke. It's funny, though. <laughs> Rude. Rude and weird. What's up, DB? Is that Scarecrow? <laughs> All right, Mr. Taz, what you gonna do? Parker poked back at you and said uh, he wasn't scared. Cat done bowed to you. Parker being a little twat walker. This is the biggest hammer I can find. That's a uh, oh mid guardian. That shit's funny. Go ahead, finish your joke, dude. <laughs> All right, Mr. Taz said, "Fine, Parker. Damn, take it." So Parker's gonna take it for twenty six. All right, PP. Ah, PP. I got you, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you much. Hey, thanks. 
Thanks, hey, what's up, Thunder God? So, Tricky, what is the difference between jelly and jam? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are going to have to figure that out. This is, this uh, is a, a no. PG-13 uh, skip me on this rotation. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. Sell some. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm eating chocolate right now, okay? Sell your chocolate. Look oh, that. Uh, look, there's a lot of things you can get from Shorty, but chocolate is not fucking one of them. Oh, damn. God damn. You can get my comic book. You can get pops. You can, but you ain't getting goddamn chocolate. You can hang that shit up. All righty. Uh, <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, I got two lots I could do. If there's no action, I got buy it now. So I'll do this. Option B. Option A. Option B. So, a bunch of these. I tried them last week. I found two more. So I've got a little set going. I think there's eight of them. Seven. So, set that five, 35. I would do 30. So, $30 starting bid. Just because that's, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna throw this on my Instagram page at forty dollars. So if you guys, you say you start at what? Thirty three zero. Um, there's seven of these variants. They're Michael Cho variant covers, all near mint, near mint plus. Yeah, that was like get together. They were so, nice. Just wanted to give you guys a chance at them first, and for a little bit cheaper. Because I'm gonna do a like forty dollar buy it now on my Instagram. Go for thirty, thirty. Guys can duke it out here. Black widow. Yeah, if, if there's no interest, that's totally cool. Because I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sell these. Black Panther. <clears throat> this one's cool as shit. Really this cool. looks like a. Uh, that looks like Darwin. Uh, yeah, they all look like they have a Darwin cook flavor to them. My show. Even mm-hmm. Yeah, they have like that frontier like look. Super cool. No, you don't, Thunder. I still got yours over here. I just hadn't sent it to you yet. I got that sitting over here for you. <laughs> hey, Shorty, so, yeah, I've been sharing you- your. Uh- what? Go ahead, Tom. No, it's it's not important. Go ahead. Talk about these. Not books. important. So I got seven of these, all near mint. Um, what did I say? Thirty dollars starting bid. There's no takers. That's okay. They look really cool together. There's only a couple more in the set. I'd say I recommend getting one of these like bulletin boards that hold like nine comics comfortably. Just like line them up in a bulletin board or something, or do like a banner or something how do you how do you pin those up on your bulletin board bro yeah or you could read them i use push how do you pin okay just right through the book right yeah right through the pages (laughs) secure that's secure um show a couple by now i don't think we have any takers on them yeah still got about 20 seconds left Okay, going back for the money books. We got our Strange Tales Academy, number six. Exclusive Virgin variant, Near Mint Plus. Uh, $75 buy it now. Gorgeous cover, flawless. Gym Mint, 75 And I have this book for $30 buy it now. $30 special. Same as these uh, variants you just passed up. So thirty dollar buy out now, buy enough for that. Where it was thirty for these. That's your inline though. So thank you for uh, looking. I guess. I don't know what to say. Thank you for watching. We'll try again next round. Thank Appreciate you for you. being a friend. Thanks for being here. Uh, <laughs> we'll move it down. Thank you for being a friend. Back again. I don't know the words. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll throw this up. I'll start it at 30. 
Who that is? That's just my baby daddy. You know, nothing turns me on like girls with X's over their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> nothing turns me on like. Girl. Actually, let's actually let's go ahead and start this at twenty. Give people a chance. Oh, might as well start it at, at, at free, bro. People know what it's worth. Yeah. <clears throat> no, or I quit. He said he's never doing this again, DB. Yeah, DB, he said, fuck y'all. He said, yeah. you know what? Fuck you, Tricky. Fuck you, Parker. He said he didn't like he pulled, of game. he pulled the gamers on us. No, he actually, DB, he had hemorrhoids. He couldn't get off the toilet almost. He had to go to the hospital. He, his hemorrhoids are too bad. Yeah, and then he was like putting the ointment on and his thumb got stuck or something. <laughs> and he pulled out a plum. <laughs> what a good boy, Ma. Listen, he, RMI, he got caught up in a pegging party and it really did him, it did a number on him. <laughs> he he, he heard himself too trying hard. to figure out the difference between <laughs> yelling and yelling. <laughs> Uh, ask, ask, here's what will happen. If you ask RMI what the difference between jelly and jam is, he's going to say, I can't jelly my dick in your ass. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> this shit jumped the dark fast. That's his joke. <laughs> Not mine. Not my joke. It's his joke. Um... Hey, what's up, Sean Ryder? Papa Wheelie, what's up? We got Papa Wheelie up in here. We got 30 seconds. Anybody want to jump in here? Starting bid, $20 on some frizzing goodness, some Department of Truth, hotness. That's cool, Papa Wheelie, man. I hope you get a, I hope you get a bunch of high grades because it would be the Condition. opposite of your, be the opposite of your report man. card. Worthy. All right, Josh is in at 20 It is worthy. It's worthy. It is worthy. Do I have a box of tea yet, Cam, or no? All right. Let me get that in line in there. Do I have a box or not, Cam? Um, no. It don't matter. You son of a bitch. It matters if Taz come in ahead of that in line. All I've right. got one, don't I? Yeah. I won't drop it then, now. This is issue one, right? This is issue one. Yeah, man. Netflix ain't sleeping on this. So Josh Netflix folded. Gonna, Netflix going to have this all up in your business. Yeah, not only that, but this book is going to be one of the most expensive of the number one. Well, yeah. And Mr. Taz got it for 21. One of them. But the other one is the is that uh, secret variant. Which the one we don't know about because it's selling. a secret. I am not selling. The one we don't know about because it's a secret. It's, then everybody will know. All right. Thank you, Mr. Taz. Thanks, Taz. You dull face. You dull face, Mr. Taz. Okay, okay, okay. Has anyone ever told Mr. Tess how handsome he is? Oh, my. Every day. All right. Every every morning when he's making my pancakes. All right, listen, guys. I'm starting this lot out at, uh... I'm going to go ahead and start it out at 50. I think it's pretty damn fair. 
We got Infinity Gauntlet issue one. Needs a press. Near mint. Near mint minus. After a press, uh, I think it's a near mint, but I'm gonna call it a near mint minus right now. Um, nothing really uh, breaks color on the spine, but the spine does need a press because um, it's got a short. It's got a small roll on it. We have the first appearance of Doppelganger, near mint. Infinity War issue one. We got Infinity War issue two, Infinity War issue three. These are all on high grade. Issue four, five, Infinity Gauntlet five, Infinity Gauntlet three, and a new stand. And that's the entire lot. Fifty dollars starting bid. And that's it. I might, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from somebody who is interested in these, but, uh, if, uh, depending on what they say, I, I might put, I might pop these up at, I might start them at 140 for the pair. So, uh, stand by, stand by. <clears throat> Just stand by, you, you beautiful people. Beautiful people. I got some uh, Maestro books coming up. I got some indie stuff. Some really obscure books coming up that you don't see every day. Just weirdo indie stuff. How about that? Stuff that'll make you say, "What?" Hmm. Never heard of that. <clears throat> I do have a buy it now. Are you guys familiar? I'm gonna ask everyone. Are you familiar with Bone? The comic book. Hey, what's mm -hmm. up, Hunter? What's up, Hunter? Say shoes. The creator of Jeff, Bone. Jeff Smith. The creator of Bone uh, did this uh, this series right here. This is the uh, exclusive C2E2 printing. Now this is like what one through one through fifteen in an ear mint of this book. Um, one through fifteen. Buy it now, thirty dollars. All near mint. All near mint. What do you think about that while you're while you're up late looking at auctions. You put that in your you put that in your YouTube browser and smoke it. Not everybody laugh at once. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking filthy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, he hurts. He's laughing it so hard. Uh, I have uh, one through twelve, the Master of Darkness, the Shade. Uh, this is what you guys are throwing me right now for that joke. Uh, Ten dollars. Thank you. Hello. 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 Hello there. Hello. 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 Anyone there? Anyone there? No, no one's home. Oh, is there anybody out there? So if you guys uh, did not like this lot and you want to make me offers, you can hit me up on the DMs. I'm open to offers. Uh, thank you. Cool. Cool, 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 Bean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. what? Have a couple of buy it nows if any of you guys are interested. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I've got these um, Star Wars uh, Beckett number one. If you're interested in a copy of this, it's buy it now three, three bucks. Um, also, I have got Black Panther Agents of Wakanda one and two. Um, if you want a set of this, it's buy it now five bucks. Got three sets of those if anyone's interested. Um, also, I have a Miss Marvel number two, third printing, 
buy it now for twenty dollars so just let me know if any of those um interest you um and i'm gonna do a little um dc lot nothing crazy i'm gonna start it off at five bucks it's an eight book lot we've got the first issue this is like post-crisis uh superman and uh it's number one burn austin you number two what beer? five bucks okay then we've got Justice League America 191. And then you've got Zaytana here on the cover with a little black canary. She's freaking out because she's lost her magic powers. And I hate that. I hate that for her. Um, we've got a Huntress and Power Girl number one. So there you go, a little lenticular. Um, Green Lantern 56, shiny, shiny. We've got Batgirl number 28, shiny, shiny. Uh, Superman Aliens. This is um, Dark Horse and DC, and this is a uh, book three. So, uh, Superman versus Aliens book three. And we've got Batman Forever. <laughs> The official movie adaptation so it's campy as hell but there you go five bucks baby five dollar so got that john Byrne superman awesome on drop wheelies in at five star scream got that what a villain Oh, and Lex Luthor had hair. That's Zatanna. Zatanna. Six, Papa Wheelie, seven. Action. Jack. Still got about 45 seconds left on the clock. Denny O'Neill writing on this magic. They didn't write that. I won't hate on Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I like them. All right. So we got a fold from Starscream. So right now we got Papa Willie at 10, but we still got about five seconds. Oh, Mr. Taz has jumped in at 10. Well, Mr. Taz, uh, Papa Willie is already at 10, so you're going to have to go to 11. Don't go at all. I'm sure you go at 1. Uh, I think it's an airman after Chris. Vicky, you're talking to me. So, Taz, you'll either have to fold or go to 11. Yeah, I'm giving a few seconds and I'm going to drop an in line. All okay, right. well, we can have it. All right, there's your in line. All right, I got you, Papa Wheelie. Thank you, brother. I have another book or two from you, but I'll get in touch with you and uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you. We all. <clears throat> all right. 
Shoot, thanks, guys. We pick up pop. We got 31 people with us. That is sick. Sick, sick. Sorry. Change the camera. One sec. Holy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. What is she doing? I don't know. Me? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, you go oh shit. Oh, shit. Um, hmm. I have a go at you it. Know what? Here. We'll do a random. How about this? We're going to do a random number one lot. These is, it, it's, it's random and they're number one. Here is DC Universe Batman Rebirth number one. There is nine books in this set. Um, this is the Witching Hour Dark uh, Justice League Dark number one. Some good uh, Federici number one? goodness. Huh? Justice League Dark number one? Witching Hour. Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, the Witching Hour number one. Gotcha. Some uh, Age of Rebellion, Han Solo, number one. This is going to start at five bucks. I'm sure somebody in here can drop me a line. Batman's Grave, number one. Justice League, number one. Jim Lee. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you go back to that and show us the barcode? This is the Walmart variant. Oh, okay, cool. The Walmart exclusive variant. Ah, that's what's special. No. King in Black, number one. Cool. Strange Academy number one. This is third. Yeah, yep. third print. And then Negan Lives Silver number one. Appreciate you, lady. <laughs> lady got dusted. She's probably sour. Shit. What? Didn't you get dusted? What do you mean? Did I get dusted? I thought, were you up or I, I was? I, I went to go get an ice cream sandwich. I don't no, know. she. He was messing with her. Oh. Okay, I'll shut up because I'm an idiot. I mean, you're not an idiot. I know. Thanks, Parker. Shut up. <laughs> you're not no, an idiot either. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Listen, I'm Jelly and Jim. Jelly and Jim. You're not an idiot. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like, an idiot. You're a dumbass. Like, like, like stupid with like three of them. Oh, what the fuck? That's so cool. I can't wait till it's turned around and I can show you guys. What the fuck? Oh, Parker folded? What a pussy. Dude, yeah, because he was being a little pumped. Immediately, he scared me away. <clears throat> Tricky, your stepdaddy said he'll buy these books for you if you want them. Are you buying them for me, Papa Willie? That's a sweet day, okay? Papa Willie's like uh, Papa Willie gets so much pussy. He's the, he's the he's the he's the leader of the Strange Academy. <laughs> you do realize it's a school for children, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's the leader of the Strange Academy because he's getting so much strange. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> this is going to Tricky for fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Unless Fulp is uh, something else. Awesome. The shit was getting tired of holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. You gotta keep going all night, just so you know. Well, if you get over here and do your job, it's your turn. Come on, come on, come on. That's Parker. Come on, come on. They don't want to look at that.
amazing looking logo all night. That's Parker. Yeah. Oh, gee, that's not any better. Good one. <laughs> um, um, does everyone that is selling accept Cash App? Parker, do you accept Cash App? Yes. Cat60, do you accept Cash App? Yes. Tricky. Yes. Oh, yeah. Lady Fantastic. Yes. I, yes. I, so you I got said, a yes all the way across the board, Mr. Taz. You're good on any seller. I also I accept said, Trash App. <laughs> I accept uh, cryptocurrency. I accept gold and silver. I accept blowjobs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm out. I mean, we all do. You just don't say it, but I'll say it. <laughs> like, it's one of those things you do upon <laughs> request. You know, Parker's talk. like, I accept cunnilingus. Okay, well, Parker, we, we know that you love your own beauty, but your time is ticking, sir. Oh, oh you stopped me to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a reader copy. It is a is a this is a reader comic. It's a comic reader. Oh, uh, what? Well, Stanley didn't die in 1980. What is that? That's that jokes on you. Uh, April Fool's joke. Look at that. But he is dead now, so he she shot me. Jokes uh, on me every day. Shutter. Really cool book. Uh, this is a starting bid of. I could do, oh my God, I'm going to do 75. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Unknown has a question for you, Peter. Well, well, do y'all gross. Okay. Um, gross. <laughs> this is buy it now. One, um, if we did this as an auction, I, I can't go less than 75. So let's just save it as buy it now right now. So, yeah. This is the back of it, though. Sergeant Fozzie. Says Sergeant Fury. That's really cool. Oh my god, I love it. The Muppets. Yeah. Fucking love it. Where's Gonzo? Yeah. Just got this one in. It's an uh I downgraded my copy, so I'm selling my nicer one. Um these go for a hundred all the time. This is a fine to very fine copy. It's all complete. It's just a great Stan Lee book. Oh, okay, God, please explain to me downgrading. Oh, I, I prefer to keep the lowest grade copy I can and sell like when i can find a shitty copy of a book out in the wild i get it and i sell my nicer one because i like low grade i prefer low grade. so it's a way really? for me to yeah I'll, I'll, always that's really very hard. humble man well half my round's gone so we could just do an auction here starting bid 75 that'll i'll make five dollars sure? yeah that's fine and i'll show some more buy it now because i don't have enough time to do another full auction round so if someone's you interested in this, a minute and a half we're good. We're good. I got buy it now. Um, 75. It's fine to very fine. $75 starting bid. It's a full back cover. It's just slightly bigger than a comic magazine. Comic Reader has come in all sorts of sizes. Uh, it's come in comic size. It's come in magazine size. It's come in ash can size. Speaking of, oh, the next buy it now. I have the first true appearance of Black Lightning. Um, it's a $50 buy it now. So again, this is a this is like a previews or a what do you call that? Marvel saga, right? Or the preview, not saga. Premiere yeah, saga. No saga. Saga kind of tells the origin. Yeah, so not saga. It'd be Marvel Age. Marvel Age. Yeah. Um, it's one of those just like it's a preview book. I can show inside of it. It has advertisements of other things coming out. Um, this one's fifty. First Black Lightning. This one is 40. And this one here is the first true appearance of Star Wars in comics. Actually, no. I have it backwards. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This was 50. Black Lightning is 40. Um, and I'll show you just because this has an ad for... Like, here's examples of what you get in there. It's basically like, hey, these books are coming out this week. And it spans all companies. Um, but this had an ad for Star Wars number one. Star Wars number one came out in July of 77. Um, 
This is the April of 77. Wow, that's edition. kind of cool. So, like, three months prior, um, people saw this image of Star Wars before they ever got the comic or saw anything else. So, true, true first appearance of Star Wars, um, like Luke Skywalker in the title Star Wars, because he's on the cover. Uh, $50 buy it now. It's Comic Reader 142. Yeah, I know my rounds up. Um, and then if you saw the Black Lightning one, it was 139. So this one's 40, and this one was 50. And they're both in like. That's actually really cool, man. I mean, yeah, history. They're cool, but like, I love the preview books that have stuff like and stuff like this, where you just get like ads and like you get pay to put out ads and put in these things and offbeat comics and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll show this one again a little later. I might do it like a hundred dollar buy it now. Thanks. Yeah, look for those uh, Comics Journal, uh, Marvel Age. Like a bunch of those Marvel Age books have first appearances of characters that were coming out in the coming months. And like Dark Hawk premiered that way. Uh, the symbiote suit just first appeared that way. My Oreos are in the way. Ah, oh, shit. Bad I was on the oh, Oreos. Oh, those were just, those were actually cookies left by kids uh, on Christmas. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do, do one of the $5 stars. All right. Dr. Affer number nine. Um, Star Wars, the Bounty Hunters, Kenix Q. Star Wars, Tales of the Jedi, The Fall of the um, Sith Empire. I think this is two, three, and maybe three, four, and five. Yeah, three, four, and five. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire number six and Star Wars Kanan number two cover A. The five dollar start. You got him in at five. That's a stupid start. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jimmy Cox is in it. It's two, three, and five. Jacob comes uh, in at six. This is just a uh, like a single story, so <clears throat> it's a one off. Josh is in at seven. Shall be Skitty? Emmy's at ten. What's a Jedi? Uh <laughs> I don't know. Star Wars. Let's, let's look it up in the Urban Dictionary and I'll tell you. It's probably some sex move. What's up, William Albright? <laughs> hey, what's up, William? <laughs> I'll have Paul a good in the 619 and at 15. Oh, Paul. Paul bought my other nads, didn't you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. We're back on his nads again. Paul, I sold a set of nads <laughs> earlier. Oh. This is Not a... focus, focusing on your nads. I didn't this realize a... I had two He's sets so of nads. excited to have found the other nad tonight, y'all. No, this is a cat scrotum. He's selling a scrotum now. <laughs> Emmy mean, tried to come back at 16. Paul has come back at 20. Twenty dollars for a man scroach? That's gross. <laughs> I know, right? Jesus, that's disgusting. You find I that like on the ground. You know how many man scroaches I cross on the ground <laughs> every damn day? They're littered. Really? The ground is littered with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! There's, like, your, there's your timer. We got multiple bidders right now. 
<laughs> what was that? What, there was some movie if the beach was littered with dicks and I had to eat them all up to get through them or something. I <laughs> said, well, serve me up a big plate. So, so we got the, Josh, M, E, and Paul in here. Right now, Paul is in the lead at 20. It's my net in a box. Yeah, that was the preview for Suicide, the next Suicide Squad movie, John Cena. It is, it is, isn't it? Well, yeah. uh, how does it go? Do you know how that goes? Yeah, it's like, funny. It's something about doing it for America. He's like, if I had to eat a bunch of an island full of dicks for America, I would do it. I'm proudly right. <laughs> Calls in at 25. <laughs> Damn, how did they miss this? Damn, Gina. Who we at here? 21. 25. <laughs> See, yeah, it's a good holiday song. I know. I top it off with uh, sweaty balls and. Yeah. Sweaty balls. Can't wait to get my mouth around these sweaty balls. Oh dear. That escalated quickly. So we got a fold from Josh and from Emmy. So it looks like it's going to go to Paul for 25. I'll put these in there with uh, your nads. Oh Jesus. This is a very ball centric. So that's so polite. Y'all have really, really killed my innocent virgin ears. I want you to know. Well, oh, whatever. Right. I mean, I stuffed, I stuffed this box with my dad, so I got to put these in with him. He's got a big box. He's got balls on the brain, folks. <laughs> Paul's got, Paul's got a big. Uh, box. That's a, that's free shafting. I mean, free shipping, right? <laughs> Paul's got <laughs> you know, a big box for all those nads. Okay, guys. Uh, these, oh, I'm going to start this off at 140, okay? These are both newsstands, as you see down below. <clears throat> this has, uh, spine on this is, is 140. 140. The spine on this has a roll, I'm so it needs a press, but there's not a whole lot of ticking. Uh, let me look. There's some, there's some tick, there's some stress, but I think it could be pressed out. Meaning that there's no spiner. There's no there's no spinal stress that, that can't be pressed, but there's an issue here with the corner of the book. Uh, basically it looks a bit like blunted and it has affected all the pages in the book. Okay. So keep that in mind. But it is a new stand. Uh, the second appearance is a hair better in quality. Um, all starting at one forty. If you're interested, you know, we know these, this character is coming out and, uh, the Thor movie up and coming. <clears throat> so yeah, two new stands, um, in high grade. Yeah. Shutter deck in at 140. Uh, thank you, Shutter. Appreciate it. <clears throat> if for some reason this gets up, uh, gets up to, uh, uh, a crazy good price. Uh, I'm going to toss in these books here, which uh, are all the books leading up to the first appearance of Malekith. Is that right, Parker? Mm, yes, it is. Yes, it is. First cover appearance of Malekith. First Malekith. Those can come in a bit later uh, if the price is right. Someone dropped it on their hands and blocked at the corner. <laughs> yes. That yes, I don't sound like that. Exactly. <clears throat> so, pretty fair copies, high grade. This one has a a tiny corner issue. Uh, if you get this at anywhere close to this price, you can slap it on eBay, make a make a make a profit. So these were cat's books then. These were cat's books. These were cat's books. Let me show some by it now while we're here. Yeah, you still got about a minute. While we're here looking handsome, let's uh, show some bins. One through 12, $10 of shade. One through 11, $20 of bat wing. These are all near mint. One through 19, $20 of copperhead. One through twenty-nine, thirty dollars of Animal Man. 
lastly, 1 through 13. Here, a minute, $20. Of um, the Justice League. <clears throat> also got some other things. What? Like what? Tricky. Like what tricky trap shirt? Mm. <clears throat> I'm missing, I think, uh, issue... Missing issue six of uh, Sandman Mystery Theater, uh, but uh, I have a ten dollars on one through twelve. <laughs> Missing issue six. <clears throat> All right, Shutter. That was the timer, my man. You got a fucking crazy ass good deal. Yeah. Hey, that is the uh, the fucking way the cookie cookie crumbles. Oh. This is the way the crookie crumbles, guys. Crookie crumbles. The crookie yes, crumbles. The way the crumbles. <laughs> it's the crookie crumbles. It's the way it happens. So thanks, Shutter. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, I'll stack the. I'll put these in your stack of sweet ass books that you've uh, gotten for me. Thank you. And the top loader will come with it. So, thanks. Thank you. Damn, look at that Hulk. It's looking good. <clears throat> Since it's me, oh, it's you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have an indie lot. Um, I could put more books in it, but right now, I'm going to start it off with one, two, three, seven books. And I have to start this um, lot out at 20 bucks. So I'm going to show you what I've got. This is um, Halloween Comic Fest uh, Baby Teeth number one. Uh, the Maniac of New York number one. First print. Uh, Farscape. This is Vault. I want to say this is the B cover. This is the nicest, the nicer cover. But Fearscape number one. Vault. B cover and number two vault B cover. These are just harder to find. Um, Noctera number one. This is the glow in the dark variant. Um, yeah. And then number two uh, B cover. And then you've got cover number one B Zoo or Zoo variant. This has been optioned for HBO Max. Um, Brian Michael Bendis is writing. David Mack is directing. It's going to be an animated series. So this book itself is worth 20 bucks. That is why I'm starting this lot off at 20 bucks. So there you go. And if you want me to, I can add some more stuff in there. You know, like I can throw in a Predator. I can throw in some... Loki, Ragnarok, and Roll. You're gonna throw in a Cat sixty? Huh? You're gonna throw in a Cat sixty? A Cat sixty? Oh, you said a Predator. A Predator. A Scrotum. A Predator. So look up that. Um, look up this, and also look up that uh, cover. Number one. Zoo or Zoo. This is a twenty dollar book. So. Um, I think I still, I have some buy it nows. Let's see. Still got these, um, if anybody wants the Agents of Wakanda issues one and two, those are buy it now for five bucks for the set. Um, and I have three sets. Um, I also have the Star Wars, uh, Beckett number one. So, Agents of Wakanda, you have three sets of one and two? Uh-huh. For five bucks? Yep. Yes, I do. Um, and then I also have Miss Marvel, third print of number two, $20. I'll take, a, I'll take I'll take all three of your agent sets if no one claims them this round. Yeah, just hit me up. Let me know. 
And um, yeah, if so, if no one claims them this round, I'll take all three sets. Okay. I just think this one's. Big. And I'll take whatever's left if someone does claim. <laughs> hey, what's up, Michael Wimberly? Hey, what's what's popping, bro? <laughs> Um, no, it is the black and it is the black. I mean the. What's up, X? The glow in the dark. Yeah, you can definitely see it. So there's that. What's up, Mass Electric? B cover. Hey, X, uh, X, check your, uh, check, yeah, you do, bro. Uh, I have a box with me. Also, check your DMs. This right here, dude. So right now we got Cat sixty at thirty two. She's done some um, something is killing the children. Uh, variants. I want to get focus, goddamn it. Um, and they have been epic. Epic. In my first show, dude. She does mixed medium. <clears throat> Or mixed media. Mm. Excuse you, cat. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Maz. This one's also a sleeper. Aftershock puts out some good shit. But I'm also slightly biased. Slightly biased? What? Ah, yeah, I know. Fucking okay, no, it's off. Aftershock is my favorite company after Marvel. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, look up those books. You can't hardly find the Escape B colors. Noctera is excellent so far. Yeah, Snyder's on that. Um, Yes, it did, Moss, but because there's multiple bidders, you're just waiting for someone to fold. But there's still multiple bidders, so that means anybody can technically still get in. You know, technically. This is the one. This is what makes the lot. Is the Fearscape artist the same as the Fantastic Four? Uh, so Ribic, 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 I know does the Fantastic Four cover art. I don't think that he does um, the cover art for this, no. All right, Michael folded. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm a greedy Wait. miser. But where's Fantastic Four skin? He may be interested. Oh Jesus! No, he's good. Well, no, that's uh, that's the end of it. Okay, cat. I guess I'll give it to you then. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. And seeing how his tricky uh, wants three of those um, Wakandas, I was gonna I was gonna say toss one of those in my box, but. Well, he said like he'll take the other two if you if somebody wants them. No, I'm good. Let him have. Okay. So then, do you want those tricky, or do you just want to talk later? We'll talk later. Did Did no one claim any of them? Um, no. Oh yeah, I'll take all three. All three. Okay. 15, all right, they're yours right? for. Fifteen bucks. Yeah. 
fucking awesome. All right. Uh, hey, birthday, it's your shorty. Hmm? <laughs> hey, birthday, it's your shorty. Hey, birthday. Okay. Um, here you go. How about, uh, oh, he said Final Fantasy was what he meant when he said FF. Oh, I can look. So so I can see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I see where he's going with that now. Makes more sense. All right. I can look so, up. how about this? Is seven books? Yeah. Part of the Red Hulk run. This is issue number four, second print. I'm going to start this at ten bucks. Number five? No, six. Yes, this is number six. So number six. Number seven, eight, nine, and then it goes to 13 and 14. Sorry, FF to me is final or is a Fantastic Four. So I'll, that's I'll, what I read. Yeah, my bad. That, that, that was fantastic good. Four skin. Yeah. Well, what's your, do you have fifteen in there? You said. If you do, you have issue fifteen in there, Shorty. No. Okay. Stops at fourteen. <clears throat> what's the starting issue you have? Seven. Uh, four, four. second print. That's a good ass lot for that price, bro. She's got a couple of variants and different prints. What was that one you just pulled? What kind of variant what's, is that? This? What's the starting bid? Ten. Ten. I need to do a line for you, don't I? Yeah. I was about to yeah. do it, but yeah, go ahead. It doesn't tell me what variant. Paul, 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 Paul's in at six. It's okay. Two. Okay. Mr. Unknown Comics guy says that you have the best nails in the community, Shorty. Uh, thank you. I think Cat takes an affront to that, as he thought he had the best nails. Yeah, but. yeah Cat, you guys haven't seen Cat's toenails yet, so. He should got I the don't best. Know. I think Perry may take the cake for the toenail. Ugh. <laughs> Look, uh, Shutter Duck got my back. <laughs> Cat's the petty queen. <laughs> Whatever. And there's, I don't know. I know they say that this number, the number four, that second print, um, is actually a little bit harder to find than the first print number four. So you have a number four? Yeah, number four, second print, bro. That one. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, yeah, second print is uh, <clears throat> second print's like. You know, 10, 10 to 15 20 dollars by itself, depending on. Uh, yeah. It doesn't want to focus, so fuck it. It's 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 more expensive than the first one. So right it's now we got what Paul in at ten. It's also the first battle between the Green Hulk and the Red Hulk. And on the other side of uh, other on the other side of that cover, he's he's punching the watcher in the face. It's a wraparound cover. On um, which one, number uh, four? Yeah. So this on the other side of that, the watcher is getting slugged in the face. Poor watcher. Poor, poor watcher. Yeah, that's the most poor. expensive version of that book. Oh, is, is it a newsstand? Show us the barcode. <clears throat> no, it's direct. Okay. I don't think I don't know. That, I don't. I don't know that there are newsstands with that print. Yes, point. there are. I have a. Okay I, then. I but have yes. a newsstand of issue twenty-four from that run. Kiss yes, my ball. Yes, oh I agree God. with you. I don't know if there's a new stand in the second print. Uh, there's seven X. Yeah, seven. That's a good deal, dude. There is a new stand of the first print, though. I got a new stand of your first print. <laughs> 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 All 
She's gonna climb it. Handle my prank. That's a threat. <laughs> Fucking gonna storm again. Sleep well, you might have uh, X coming in at twelve before you. So, just saying. Pretty cool books. Pretty cool books. Yeah, those should go for way more than this. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, more. It's not Red <laughs> Hulk related, but I got. We knew your tone. We knew your toenails were pretty cat. Way more. There's hey, always can you, some, the uh, can you show us the hey, back of this book you got here in, hey, in your hand? Some superhero premieres, some other hulks that can get thrown in if they want. Which Let one? This one? question, Tricky. You ever yeah. get a pedicure? No. No. Do it. Do it. Unfortunately, I haven't. I wonder if Green Hulk's on the other side of this book. This is just an advertisement on the back of that one. Oh, sons of bitches. No, it's connecting. It, it, it's not a wraparound. Uh, it's connecting. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, you need number to go five. A pedicure. Number five would go here. <laughs> <Have you? laughs> what do they call it when you get the other thing worked on? <laughs> what other thing? <laughs> Your, uh, you know, the paint? other thing. Your taint. What do they call it? Taint waxing. Uh, Brazilians. <laughs> In a Brazilian, they wax. They wax your taint, your butthole, all of it. It's a man. He cure. Somebody, somebody would be getting punched. There would be a junk punch from hell. <laughs> I would like to see Cat Sixty get a Brazilian. I mean, I wouldn't want to see it. I'd like to hear the scream. No, you want to hear. You want to see it. Wow. I don't want to. See you know, the, the thing is, I is thought that we were no playing the bass. I guess. The, the, the thing is, no matter where you are in the world, you would hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Got sixties had many Brazilians. Where are we? Boy, at? I can't even remember. All right, William's out. Tall is in at twenty. <laughs> Who else is in here? Out myself. Yes. I can't even All right, William's out. See what happens when I'm not running around, guys. Are we waiting on a better or full? We get to talking about or... wax and paints, and nobody pays attention. <laughs> <laughs> the first few rounds, you were doing. Stuff. Are you? Are we got a better? We need a bit. Twenty right bucks. X folds. It looks like. Come on, man. It goes to Paul. That's Red Hulk. Let's dust these other fools. Uh, listen, I'm going to drop it in line soon. So if you want to come in on the slot, quit being quit being chumps and come in. Quit being chumps and come on, Tricky. Oh. Can't believe it's only at 20. Venezuelans, Colombians. Mm -hmm. Inlines in -line, in coming in hot. Uruguayans, Peruvians, <laughs> Ecuadorians. Boom. Chilean. So to do a plot, Charlie. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay, so. Police and police. Who had that? Parker, maybe? No, it was Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Parker's turn, but Paul got it. Uh, you, you make the faces, I'll make the noises. Okay. No. Oh Jesus! All right. Um, <laughs> for this round, let's. <laughs> I don't know. Try the. Yes, she That's does, horrible. Paul. Here, yeah, I'll sale. throw it in there. Give me a second. Right. Start this at ten dollars. Could you? Would you? Could you? Should you? Um, four, four book lot, all Marvel Tales, classic Spider-Man reprints. Um, some Ramita, some Ditko, maybe more. I think that's all you're getting. Um, so, I'm showing them backwards. Sorry, you're supposed to see that one last. Any Mark Jewelers in there? 
Uh, I don't know. Buy them and find out. They're all newsstands, though. Every single one look. of them. Jay, Jonah, look. Jameson. Especially Spider if you got them from me. You should look. The Crime Master. Look at that purple cover. $10 start on these. Bring back my goblin. And then you get the one, two, three, four, third appearance of the lizard. Third appearance of the lizard. Don't y'all love it when Parker tries to do math? I thought he was fixing to take his fucking flip flops off. And yes, I said flip flops because he totally would have to take off a flip flop to use his toes, guys. <laughs> Oh, good. Mr. Mr. Unknown Comic over there uh, has funny. an issue with Cat 60. <laughs> uh, he's saying if you also have some dick, dick toe. Dick toe. Dick toe. Ew. What's <laughs> up, Pressable? <laughs> um, Ten bucks for all four of these newsstand Marvel tales. Pressable, you probably come in at a very bad time. Usually do, I think. It's it's gone. Uh, at 15, I'll add another newsstand. It's sensational. It's the same run. Marvel Tales this is 191. Big, thick book here. It's the size of two comics. Big, fat, fatty. 64 pages. Uh, nice. Another Green Goblin reprint. This one reprints the uh, the drug. You get the whole drug issue. The I don't know the numbers. The 94, uh, 95, 96, and 97. That sounds accurate. Um, you get all three in here. And guess what? There's no... Or 96, 97, 98, something like that. There's no comic code stamp on this one either. Oh, oh look nice. at that. So that's kind of a cool book. There's very few books that lack the comics code. And even the reprint of them doesn't have it. So that comes at 15. So it's 10 bucks. I need to see if there's any more jewelers in here, bro. You Jeez, buy them to find out. Crapster. You got to buy them to find out. Well, you can, nice. I mean, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Doc? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to do your leg work for you. We're at 15, then. All of them are in. The whole shebang. The whole shebang, she bangs. The way she moves. She moves. No, I mean, conditions so are all good. They're all fine or better. I'm and showing then, Doc cop in with the first 15. Yeah. Very Parker, funny. do you know if these are original covers to the reprints or to the comics? These are okay. They're they're reprint covers, but they're redone a little bit. They're not they're not original covers, but they're different. Like this one has an orange background instead of a yellow background, and they flipped it 180 degrees. So Jameson's on this side instead of the other side. Uh, this one's different color background. This one's purple instead of like sky blue. Is and that the Rorschach building. versus Spider Man? Basically, it's Rorschach. Yep. Uh, this is an all, this is an all new cover, brand new cover for the reprint. Nice. And this one is flipped around and it's a yellow background instead. So most basically they would flip it 180 degrees and change the color. Amazing. It's 16. This is uh, 45. For those guys. <laughs> this is 45 and it's the actual cover. They didn't flip anything about. It. So what's the condition on the add in? Talk asking. Um. That one is the nicest of the bunch, probably. I'd call it BF minus BF. Fine, very fine. While you have it out, is it a Mark Jewelers? While I have it out, is it a Mark Jeweler? I don't know. <laughs> I appear to find out. Ooh, a new universe head. Look at that. Kill Kane. Yeah. The other ones are all very good fine. This one's fine. This one's fine to very fine. What's the condition on the add-in? That's that was this one. Fine to very. That fine. was what he was answering. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Um, I'm out of it. Yeah, the, all these other ones toe are around fine. It, it, Damn it, toe rings cutting off the toe circulation ass. of my brain. <laughs> it's like I think Emmy Comics is gonna take them. Sixteen. Well, in Damn. that case, oh, no worries, Doc. I have no worries at all. Um, I have two more Marvel Tales I can grab. So if he doesn't fold right away. Go get it. Go get it. <clears throat> I'm 
Um, condition snob, Parker. Yeah, he uses, Doc Cop uses a lot of conditioner. He's shallow on the shampoo, but we don't, we really, we know what he's really using the conditioner for. Okay. Okay. Probably too late. Hey, so okay. Parker, uh, we have a question in the chat. Uh, do you like lotion or conditioner? Uh, we're at 17. For I got another newsstand here. It jumps a bit. It jumps about 200 issues. But I got this Hobgoblin book. This is higher grade. This is very fine near mint newsstand. Uh, this would come in at 20, so three dollars more. At 20, at 25, I'll uh, Emmy fold. So these are probably gonna go to Sean. You can just let me know if you want to upgrade. This would come in at 25. But I'll just stop there. Then I had a few more. At 30. If anyone else wants to come in last chance at 30, I'll bring in both of these bulk books. But I got to stop there. You know, time did go out. Those are both so same keeps. Those John, are cool. yours. That's at 25. That's at 20. You just let me know if you want to do any of these upgrades or if no one else comes in. These are just yours at 17, right? Yeah, Sean, 17. Uh, whoever's at a keyboard, feel free to type in the inline. I am not. Type in what? Uh, you inline. can do the inline. Everybody pulled it except Sean. Oh, oh Mr. Taz came in at 25. Taz comes in at 25. So that adds this to it. And that adds this to it. And all the other books, they're all in. We're at 25. So cool. This one is a new new cover. All new art for this one. Um, and McFarlane, McFarlane had a little run of new covers. I don't have any of those. But set at 30, I could add these. Both of those. They're, neither one is a new stand, though. If you would rather... Uh, if you say, fuck those, I don't want those two. Do this one instead. I can add this for 30, and it is a new stand. In a 90s new stand, a little bit more valuable. A little bit. Uh, it's an X-Men book. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is that 30, Mark Euler's? Buy it and find out. <laughs> Trying to help you. Um, bring that in at 30. Or I could do the other Hulk books at 30. So if anybody bids 30, you got to specify. Otherwise, we're at these Those last two books were, were uh, both Sam Keith books, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, they were. The Hulk ones were. Yep. Those are cool. Yeah, those are cool. They're very cool. What's up, Gorilla Todd? What's up, Gorilla Todd? Hey, so what's up, line, Gorilla uh, Todd? Shout out to right. Gorilla Todd. Absolutely. Timer did go out already, but we got two bidders, Mr. Taz and Sean. Anybody can still get in, but if one of you could bid or fold, or if you want to upgrade to 30, let me know what you were wanting to do. Sean folds. So these will go to Mr. Taz. <laughs> you just let me know if you want to do any of those upgrades, then we can end this round. And it be, uh, Mr. Taz, 25. All newsstands, all Marvel Tales. Whoa! That's a badass lot, Parker. Yeah. Oh, he says, what about 35 for all? Deal. I can do that. What's oh, up, that Gorilla Todd? 35 for all? You got it. All right. There you go. Here comes you in line. Hot and heavy. Sick. Booyah. It's going to Mr. Taz. For 35. I don't see it on screen yet. Once I do, there it is. Boom. So those are yours. Yeah, I'm cool with 35 if you are. We can just touch base on IG. And I appreciate your busyness. Thank you, Shorty. Thank you, Short Fox. You're, mm -hmm. you're the best. You're the bees. Knees. <laughs> All right. We're going round, round, back, me, round. Me, 60 All right, I'm going to start off. I'm gonna start out ten dollars. Star Wars, Darth Vader number seven. First, Ochi of Bestie. You I mean, know what I mean, said that wrong. I don't know. Yeah, you're right, bro. What is, what other glorious person could it be, Gorilla? <laughs> One and only. Honestly, the better question is, what other dumbass would hang out with these? Fucking bozos. That's more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> please. please. <laughs> Good 
B, please. Doc Cops. Doc Cops. Yeah, 10. Is this a variant cat? No, this is not. This is a uh, first print. Gotcha. Eventually, he's going to pop. But God only knows when. There's 7 million other <laughs> characters. All right. At 40, I'll bring in Dr. Afra at 25. Um, I can't remember what, what variant this is, but this is a pretty rare book. Talk that is about its cover. Ow. I'm guessing the smart ass reply gave it away to him. How about, another, how about another three bucks and we'll put in Dr. Abra, number nine. Interesting. Hey, what was that other Dr. Afra book you had? That's Dr. Afra 25. It's, it, there's some, it's some variant. I can't remember what it is, though. I just know it's a pretty valuable book. It's like a $40 <clears throat> book. Well, number nine has like a, a lot of first appearances, so, or a couple. This is uh this is the latest edition number nine. Oh, the latest volume. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. So that's these two books, and I will still bring this in at forty. What a gentleman. And that's a clean goatee you got there. Carpet match the drapes, or? <laughs> you got a goatee down there too, huh? No, I I uh, dyed the one down there. It's it's orange. <laughs> what a badass! <laughs> it's fluorescent. <laughs> Glows in the black light. We like we like doing those weird things. If you ever get a DM of an of a a bald guy holding a black light to his nuts, you know it's kids. <laughs> the nads. <laughs> yeah, call them by their science. Yeah. Oh, Doc Cop, you're craving you're craving fried chicken because uh, Cat Sixty's first lot was. Uh, His net was his sack, his left and right nut. You want Darth Vader number one? Are you saying from the first series Darth Vader one or the second series Darth Vader one or third series? <laughs> we miss you too, Gorilla. And we mean that from the bottom of our heart. So God, are you hey. talking about any specific issue? Or are you talking about number one? Or are you talking about number three? Guys, it's been real and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. But it's starting to storm here. So Shorty's going to jump off of here so I can shut it all down. Um, take care. Peace out. Y'all now. I'm leaving the zoo unattended, lady. It's on you. No, what happens God. from here on out is your responsibility. No, don't say that. Yes. I'm leaving okay. these animals in your hands. Uh-huh. Be safe. <laughs> Face the love lowest and I'll, the lowest I'll go on this. The lowest I'll go on this will be thirty dollars. That's stupid. This book sells for forty. But I'll go down to thirty. If anybody wants this. This will come in at thirty.
is there an end line or I'm getting uncomfortable. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to put an in line? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. If you want to bid anybody, you better bid now. In line's coming. Coming in. Coming in hard. Hot and heavy. Yeah, 30 for the three. If you want this doc, just let me know. It's a good book. I got I got a few of them, so. Cat shirt needs press. Hey. I'm just strange. reading. Don't kill the messenger. All right, cool. Thanks, Doc. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you did way back there. Oh, come on, I was like five minutes ago. I just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Jeez, oh, we... All right, we got the trapster of tricks. All right, what's up, everyone? Doc Cop's in at 30. Thanks, Doc Cop. I appreciate it. No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna start this auction off at uh, this this lot off at ten bucks. Um, I think this is issue, the volume is issue, uh, volume five. It could be volume six, but I'm pretty sure it's volume five. Uh, we got issue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing issue ten, and I have eleven, twelve. 13 and I have 14 the conclusion so I am missing one issue of 1 through 14 but $10 is the starting bid <clears throat> and uh, are people still bidding what are oh, people bidding on yes let's uh, you need to go back to uh, cat kitty cat yeah let's just I mean we, we need to drop some inlines for cats. You did. You, you did. She put down the inline. I'm looking at it right here. Yeah. There you go. All these bids came after, but. Okay. So then. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> these bums. Hold on. I'm just confused dollars. how they went. They went from 13 to 30. And Doc Cop was the last bidder. And he upbid himself. Uh, well, Doc Cop was, was asking 30 for all three is what he was asking. Yeah, he bought that uh, other book. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, give me a starting line for ten dollars. Ten dollars coming up. Yeah, ten dollars. Thanks, bro. True, true. Sorry for the confusion, um, people. For half asking. Stay tart. Hey, you already got it down. Ten dollars start. I'm pretty sure this is volume five of Silver Surfer, but I could be wrong. Could be volume six, but I'm almost positive it's five. Uh, these were PC books. I've recently started selling Surfer books, which we're all. PC. Is that, um, a, is that I to... Sorry, I didn't interrupt. Okay. Yeah, that uh, it doesn't say, but it looks just like one, so I assume it is. It does. Yeah, yeah it looks a lot like him. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have one through fourteen missing one issue. It looks like all the, most of the covers are by different people. Maybe these two are by the same person. Uh, they kind of give me hope that I can be published from there. Uh, this one's beautiful. As is this, this. I think this is Assad Rip, Assad Ripic on this one. Pretty Could be early, like this would be early Assad. Uh, yep. In my yeah, maybe yeah. not that one. Yeah. Maybe the other one. Yeah, they're all different. Okay. Got you. So also another Assad cover. It's beautiful. Yeah, very sick, very sick. Uh, badass lot. Um. Probably on, probably not hard to find. I've never actually seen it in the wild, but I've never had to look for it because I've always had it in the PC. So <clears throat> If I get no love on this lot in the next uh, 10 seconds, I might switch it up. So let me count inside my brain. Mm -hmm. Been busy. School year almost over. Three more weeks. That's good, Todd. That's good. <clears throat> Be nice to take a break, huh? 
So same 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 line, guys. Uh, this is kind of an odd lot that you wouldn't see uh, on an auction here on YouTube. But I have a. Uh, this is ten copies. <laughs> I have ten copies of Ghost Rider. They all have the uh, extra pop-up centerfold attached. Oh. Uh, these are all near mint. Starting at ten dollars, all near mint. Ten copies, ten dollars. And I'll throw in a, a surprise book for whoever takes this lot, no matter what price it goes at. And the surprise book is not Ghost Rider 25. So, 10 copies, direct, 25. They all have the centerfold pop up. Uh, these are good for AOKs. Uh, if you have a lot of Ghost Rider books you want to move and you ha need to throw in books with it, this has a uh, foiled cover. Uh, the skull in the background is foiled, and then also has a centerfold inside of it that pops up and out, so you can see Ghost Rider's head. Uh, it's like a it's like a three way centerfold, so it, it's a gatefold, centerfold, uh, pop up cover. <laughs> this is the double size milestone edition. Uh, these are uh, Mr. Taz is in at ten. Yeah, these are ten copies. So if I flip these around, you would see, and then uh, all near mint, 10 near mint copies of issue 25. The book that will come in for whoever takes this is the uh, glow in the dark issue 15. So also a direct, um, if I turn the lights out, you would see that this flame and skull would glow. But that book will come in for whoever takes the lot at any price. Hey, what's up, Kevin? <clears throat> you can buy these 10 copies of issue 25 uh, to impress your girlfriend oh. or your old lady. And you can say, guess how many issues of 25 I have. And she would say, two. And you would laugh at her and say, ten bitch and then uh she would sleep with you it's a perfect plan it happens every time what did i walk into <laughs> i've had three drinks maybe two uh -huh. <laughs> yeah I have that one. you uh, actually don't have to make it again <laughs> listen it's guaranteed what you auctioned all those books off <laughs> Yeah, so Cat60, there's 10 issues of 25. Uh, they're all near mint. They all have the uh, centerfold attached. It's a gatefold centerfold. Yeah, that plan sounds wonderful. Right. You just say, guess how many issues of 25 I have. They say, I don't know, one. You laugh at their face, and then you say, no, I have 10. And then, uh, and then... Panties drop. I don't know. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> anyway, whoever takes this lot uh, is also getting this uh, this glow in the dark uh, book here. You guys want to see what that looks like? Yeah. Oh, not very good. Not very well. Uh, it's because my it's my computer is on. It's like making a. Uh, it glows to me, like if you, if I, here, I can't shut my computer because it might not, uh, might not turn back on, but it does glow in the dark, just not to you, uh, because, <laughs> because, but it does glow, I swear. Well, fine. Hey, glow guaranteed or money back. How about okay. that? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, you know, I sit around in the dark and look at my comic books all the time. <laughs> as you should, as you should. As, like most people do. <laughs> yeah, the light from the monitor. I, have a, I don't want to shut my computer because it might just shut everything <laughs> off. So uh, I have some I toilet paper and some lotion, and I turn off the lights and look at my comic books. <laughs> <laughs> Folding like a greasy slice of pizza. You fold your pizza, Doc? I'm sorry, bro. I use a fork and knife. Uh, Kevin Bixie's going to take these 10 issues 
of 25 near men. Hold on, that's what I'm trying to ask. There's 10 of them there, right? Yeah, let me Not let me five. give you let me show you why. Let me show you why there's 10. Because you got one, two, three, four, five. The front and back? Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, right? That. No magic. Uh, I had I only have Silver Age bags. That's why this is this way. Uh, because I had to go pick up bags emergency. You know? And they were all Silver Age bags. And then... Uh, so no color rub. All near mint. All beautiful. Uh, you're getting laid. I can't guarantee that, but I will guarantee that this glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it up to 11. I don't know that I have 11 uh, copies, but I also don't know what you're talking about. That is a reference from <laughs> Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap. Uh, can I show you guys the centerfold? Do you mind? I mean, we're here and people are bidding, so. Is it, it's well. allowed, on, is it allowed on uh, this right? Let's give it a little go, guys. How about that? Hey, give it a go. Give it the old college uh, try. So, okay, this is this this is like, hey, kind of sliced right here. Uh, you open this up. It's a gatefold centerfold. So, uh, why it's pop out is because Ghost Rider's hands and head here. Uh, you close it. Is that a sex know. scene? Yeah, I mean, you don't need no loot for that. That's uh, some 90. Yeah. Like, if, if this, if, if your book doesn't pop up, something's going to. And you're still getting laid, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, with 10 <clears> copies <throat> of those, it's hard not to get laid. Yeah. Near mint. Beep, beep, beep. Near, near mint. I bid is fifteen. If you are not, uh, Kevin, not we need a better fold, fold uh, better, or you will get fold. dusted, my good sir. And I don't want that to happen to you. Uh, All right, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Sorry to push you into that fold, Parker. You bully. Doc Hop fold, he did like pizza. All right, this will Great. go into uh, Parker's giant stack of unpaid comics. This Thanks, is just Parker. going to the top of the books I don't pay for. Appreciate it. you. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Sorry, I took actual money from you. Could have gotten some Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Parker. Uh, Kevin would have paid. I appreciate it, bro. No, I'm joking, Parker. Pa no, Parker always you. pays. Thanks. Parker always settles up at the end of three months. Parker always pays eventually. I pay seasonally, all right? Okay. Yeah, he pays in uh, favors, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, favors of the sexual nature. Yeah. 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 60% yeah. right. of the time, he pays 90%. I've got a couple yeah, of quiet nows. Uh, one is Craven's uh, Last Hunt. Um got every issue these are all very fine plus so you got the cool. whole run yeah uh yeah hold on let me get this in there shut right up. yep shut up paul yep so uh they're all directs but they're all very fine plus so they're all in excellent shape so one two uh three Four, five, and six. This is a buy it now for 90. Buy yeah, it now for 90. It's a pretty cool run. Yeah, and it's a fucking good deal. I also have for buy it now uh, Mighty Avengers. One, two, and three, and so the significance. Is that Obama? Of, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, it's president. after she was remod Marvel. Uh, okay, Discovery, I see you, brother, and I got you. Um, got it. Yeah, that's a freaking great deal, Discovery. Hey, what's up, oh, I, thought was, I thought that was your option. I was waiting for a price. Well, good yeah, pickup. Yeah. Um, 
you were wrong. I so, mean, you didn't have a starting line, to be honest. Should we put that down? Somebody started it, but that wasn't for me. There's a starting Start line behind yeah, it. Yeah, but somebody just randomly entered it. I didn't start we're, it for a dollar. Where's bucks at? Yeah. <laughs> Starscream um, entered it. <laughs> yeah, Starscream entered it, and I it was not. I said ninety by it now. Starscream, Starbucks must must be at his house. And okay, his, yeah, his, I know. So yeah. this is the first appearance of Monica Rambo as Spectrum. Uh, there she is, right there. And so, and um, so that's number one, two, and three. Uh, this is number two. So that you see her in the reflection. And then number three is when Adam Bashir, the Blue Marble, first joins the Avengers. This is a buy it now for fifteen. As Obama. Okay. And then finally, I have a champion slot. So this is the 2016 champion. I got you, um, tricks. Uh, all right. So, but this is uh, the va this is a variant from uh, Most Good Hobby, and it's Viv Vision posing like her Diddy Kong um, from Avengers Fifty Seven, uh, homage to Avengers Fifty Seven, where Vision it's his first appearance. Um, and then I have issue number two. Um, this is where you guys people think Champions Number One is a thing. Champion it's Champions Number Two that's the sleeper because that's when Cyclops actually joins the team. So this is a sleeper key. And then I also have from that same run, issue 24. And then from the champions run right after that, sorry, it's slightly out of order, but I have um, issue three um, with Kamala Khan. It's just a badass cover. And issue four with Miles. Just again, another badass cover. I'm going to start this at $15 because this variant itself is worth that and more okay so um this is five books starting out at fifteen dollars this is the 2016 iteration of champions so that would be considered volume two and um this is starting at fifteen dollars where you've got the um just does, doesn't cat have that vision book i don't know um you'd have to ask him and he's not back so um this is the must good hobby champions number one 2016 champions number two where um cyclops first uh joins the team champions 24 fucking rad and then from volume three you've got champions number three with kamala and number four with miles Starting bid fifteen dollars. So there you go. There's that. Was it what was the buy it now fifteen? Did I have this for buy it now fifteen or twenty? What did I say? Which one? Did I say buy it now for 15 for these three? Yeah. Okay, cool. At least Tricky said then 15. I mean, uh, it's fine. Okay, yeah. Hey, um, Discovery Bay, could you, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I was going to say, could you claim those again after the starting line? But no one else swooped in and tried to beat you to it. So I'm pretty sure you're safe. Oh. Yeah, Discovery got we're, it. I mean, he said claim. I mean, it's one of those things in those rules. If, if it's a buy it now, it has, you got to wait for the starting line. But oh, we didn't I have didn't one know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all good. No harm done. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, Auction, yeah. I don't care about starting lines. Um, those are people full. Who cares who's first? Are you talking to yourself? Mm, pretty much. No, I'm not. Well, uh, $15 starting bid for this little lot here. Yeah. Bid away. $15. You got a minute and 20 on the clock. Damn it, Did Nick collect one that, one that bid that I took? No, I don't think so. 
Well, if you did X, you can bend it for 20, and you can have it if you bend it for 20, but I'll take it for 15. I think I was just trying to, he was just helping. But I mean, if you want to bust his balls, that's cool. It's America. What's oh, up, Miss Kitty? Yeah. What are you doing? Don't see me. It's my body. What you doing? He's like, no, I'm good. Fuck you. Oh, cat. Bye. Oh, I really wasn't going to give it to you anyway, so that's okay. Should All right, I think it? people are cool on this. Oh, okay. So. Oh. Move on. We can move on. Let's move on. Yeah, you can move on. Um, I've got a Hulk lot or a Wolverine lot or another Spidey lot. You guys, let me know which one you want me to put up next. Thank you. Hulk, Wolvie, or Spidey. Donkishin. Is that Hulk, comma, Wolvie, or like Hulk and Wolvie? Uh, Hulk, comma, Wolvie, Oxford, comma, and Spider-Man. That's cool. Yeah, I know. Some. Oxford commas make me look classy. Sure they do. Wicked! Yeah. Ah, gnarly, dude! Sweet! Tubular! Speaking of woe I thought I was gonna die! I don't know what that's Adult cop comics. Yeah, I guess I could read. Sweet. Um, I have to go breathe this outside. Hold up. Uh, huh. I'm not trying to like pull smoke. Weapon X. This book's hot tamales right now. Uh, Marvel of something presents seventy two. Uh, this is a VF, VF Plus copy. Oh, along yeah. With it, along with it. It's not just that copy. All right. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, tell. Tell. Hold it. I thought I was going to die. Sorry. Feel better? Yeah. This issue also has a story of Red Wolf, Shana. 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 Devil. I don't want because I want. Breaks. I'm a daredevil completist. So, uh, it's all for the sake of money. So a high grade BF plus copy of 72. But wait, there's more. Careful, careful. Barry Winter Smith. Okay. Got that. 72. 73. Barry. Oh, Barry. 74. Barry Smith. What you bet on? He's starting it at free. No shit. Uh, no. Hundred dollars. You should. You should, bro. You should start it at free. I'm not gonna start it at free. I will it'll start get, it at It'll one, get where free, it needs to be. Free, 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 free. One hundred dollars starting bid would be where I would like Whoa. to start. You get all the books, though. I'm not just I'm starting it with all of them. In. Rather than start at like, when you get add, then just put a add up, park the breakdown, stop. Yeah. Are you starting to get at 100 or at 20? 100. Very well. That's what I thought. I don't know. Starscream's just like throwing out numbers. Yeah. If you for what? Hold on. Whatever. I am trying to log in on my other phone. Be right back. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just stay. 
Who knows? And it's Lady Fantastic again. What? Hey, what's up? Do you got any buy an owls? Oh, Parker's here. He's 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 here. great. Still here. <laughs> Okay, short, short, shorty dropped out? Yeah, like a, quite a while ago. Where were you? She said she was in the bank for a little bit, but then, like, I think she's got to get ready because Tori's driving overnight. She's going to get here tomorrow at some point. We don't want your excuses for her. So the $100 starting bid on these, if there's no interest. Sorry for the confusion, or if you guys aren't hearing me very well, or it's not breaking up. Um, they're all high grade, all very fine units. This one here is very fine stuff. Very fine, very fine stuff. Direct oh, edition. Gorilla, Gorilla Todd wants to come in. Hey, he's welcome on anytime. We're at a, Send him a link. Sure, if you could, yeah. Please. $100 starting bid. I'm going to put these down. Other things here I could option. I have some Mark Jewelers. If there's any Mark Jeweler edition fans, I don't like calling them Mark Jeweler variants. They're not really variants. It's the same exact book. They just included an insert. Um, these are 15 each. Yeah, 15 each. If you see one you want, um, claim away. We have a Avengers. Those book, those books got hot because there's a Weapon X show that, that's uh, optioned. And uh, some of the, the the theory is like 181 is so out of out of price range. 180 is already getting a, the like the budget like ground floor, not ground floor, but like the low level entry entry level um, Wolverine key now is that book. And now well, the Weapon X is like one of the best stories in his oh, canon. It, right, and that's some of the best art you're ever going to fucking see in comics. But period. And what issue? Just, what issue is this one? You got here. This. Over. This is a first cover appearance of Nebula. It is. Mm. Two fifty-seven so is her first appearance, and that's her first cover. So this is second or third appearance. Uh, mm. One of those two. I can't quite remember. Right. Right. Mm. Ah, so flag. Key. What are your prices on these, bro? This is there Mark Jewelers? Fifteen dollar buy it now, fifteen each. Get that one for fifteen. Y'all need to get the one, the one he just showed for fifteen. And and the first. And that one, this is the first Star Fox before this he was you there. He joined the Avengers in this issue. Yeah, any key in Mark Jewelers is is a is a is a boss is a boss. So they're all they're all mid grade though. None of them are high grade. So okay. if Mark Jewelers on very good find fifteen each, uh, all of them. Two, three, four, five. I don't know what five plus fifteen is. Uh, Seventy-five. Mm -hmm. Seventy-five. I'll do so 70. If they wanted to take them all, yeah, seven. Seven. Seventy. I'll take five bucks off. Seventy for all. Cool. All right, my rounds up. No takers on the weapon X. Appreciate y'all times. And um, and yeah, Todd, you're welcome. Sure. Thank you. We got thirty-seven people still watching. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. I think we're back to past sixty. <laughs> All right, poly bags, Secret Wars number one, the Funko variant, and Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme number one, uh, Funko Pop variant. I'll start this at ten dollars. Okay. Then we'll seal the poly bag. Huh? They're both sealed in the poly bag. Both sealed. Nice. Let's see. Get sixty. I can't spell Starline. <laughs> oh my God! What was your Just charging play, Say ten. This put go go ten. Go ten. <laughs> That's funny. And Todd, there was five of them. Ten dollars starting bid. Look at these funko variants. Look at these collectors. Collector core. I like those actually. That's kind of. You need a big boy book. They're kind of cute. I have little boy books. 
Little boy books. I got big toys, but I want to share them. I have tween boy books. Tween boy books. What's a big girl book? Like first Archie? No, the one that you um the one that you commented uh dope is to dope today was a big girl book. It was a good book. I like that yeah. one. It was a nice one. I think a big girl book would be like first squirrel girl, right? Get out of here. That's what? sexist. I mean, for real though. Like, big girl honest. book is a first squirrel girl. Girl's badass. Squirrel I think girl sucks girl. girl. It's, yeah, she's girls. a shit co-creation. Don't you don't hate on Squirrel Girl. Listen, <laughs> it's a girl who likes nuts. That's fucking every girl. Eats nuts, <laughs> kicks butts. It's <laughs> uh, if you've ever been attacked by squirrels while walking through the woods, I mean, you would know. Oh, thank squirrel God, I know. for real. I know nothing about this. Eats nuts, kicks butts. Good golly. Molly. That's all our mottos. Eats nuts, kicks butts. Eats nuts, <laughs> kicks butts. Right. Nice. I could live by that. That's a motto. I'd put that on a jacket or something. Dude, I've got it on Squirrel Girl comics. Yeah. I'm interested in this. I'll go to haha ha number one. I'll start this off at $15. 15 <laughs> Start you off at 15 I don't even know what that means. Fifteen schmackaroos. You're gonna make me like retype this? Ugh. Yeah. No, people heard what I said. I know. I know. Oh, fuck I do. We're not formal around here. Did someone buy my surfers? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Damn. Damn, son. Damn. Damn. Cover a haha number one. Give you no, no. Let's let that's it. That's what. Just whenever my time's up. If I can do my time. Oh, 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 oh. If I can find a way. Someone's not getting laid. Here, made all you sons of guns. I have a Geiger number one. What, you don't ask me? You, bet. you only ask Cat. Oh, Whoa. Cat, let that dog out. Chumbo Wumbo over here. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, that, is that who lets the dogs out? Not Chumbo. No. Anybody that opens that front door. I was getting my Anybody who opens that front door. door. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Of course Chumbo I have Wumbo Geiger over. one first print. I have a uh, wumble over, <laughs> over here. Cat gets knocked down. He gets up again. <laughs> <laughs> Who let the dogs out? You're never going to knock me down. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to go off again. I know they are. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go on, move on. Do you have anybody now? I, I, I'm out. Okay. You but filthy sons turn. of bitches. All right. Sure. Listen. I have a $50 starting bid on this lot. All right. This is not included. This is not included. And this is not included. All that is included for now, this could be a builder, is issue one of Asgard's Assassin. Issue two. Issue three. These are all near mint. Issue four. Issue five. Issue six. Okay, so this is a uh, Queen of Hell signed by. What would, you, what would you say her name is, uh, Lady Marguerite? Marguerite Bennett. Yeah, and Marguerite Bennett. Marguerite Bennett. Is all she death death? Yeah. Roger three. of the A Force. Issue four. Issue five. Salt Queen of Hell. Issue six. Issue seven. All right. So this is a. Uh, those not the ones who left and right. They're not included. Yeah. So 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 fifty dollars for what's here. Uh, I can build with Angela One. Uh, this nice wizard decal. Uh, 
by Craig Capullo. This is like something you'd put on your window or your car. Um, this is a high grade, uh, you see it's sticky. Um, you're not going to find one in this shape. This is in fantastic shape. And I have the first appearance of Angela that can come in, uh, if, any, if it gets any interest. Uh, but $50 on these, uh, issue one of Queen Angela of Hell is, a, is signed by Mark Reed Bennett. Angela's a big name. Ooh. She thick. Hey, thanks, K-pop junkie. You all shout out K-pop junkie. Go follow her on Instagram. She's fantastic. Yeah, is the decal a paint dropper? It sure is, bro. Because I'll tell you, it's got um, that. There is one you'll find on eBay that's signed, and it looks like shit. Uh, this is in very high grade, um, unused Wizard magazine, Greg Capullo. Um, Mostly unused. It's a little Un soiled. Unsticky pages. Um, so let's just say, okay, for instance, this is fifty dollars for the two lots, right? Uh, fifty. Let's go. Let's go eighty-five. The other three books come in. At eighty-five, you'll get the first appearance of Angela. Uh, the the highest grade decal you're gonna find on Insta on eBay. And Angela number one. So that's the that's the offer. It's only an offer. You don't have to take it, uh, but you have to like it regardless. So you have uh, you have one through six of Asgard Assassin. You have Queen of Hell. First issue signed. One through seven. Beautiful lot. Uh, uh, what is the issue? What issue was that front? This is just Asgard Assassin issue one. Hey, what's up, sure. What's up, everybody? What's up? Highest grade in the world on eBay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it. Uh, this is my last decal in the whole world. Uh, the last one I own in the whole wide world, and it is a. Uh, uh, near mint, near mint. So, a pretty sick lot. You guys, listen. Angela was a owned by Image, owned by McFarlane, Capullo. Now it's a Marvel, a Marvel property. Um, you know, what's uh, she's equal to like Hella, like. She's on that. She's on that level. So also more interesting as a character. So, um, you know. Oh, the decal. Yeah, this is a, a decal from Wizard Magazine. Eighty-five brings it all in if you're interested. Okay, I'm gonna show uh, some buy now since no one's interested. I'm gonna show the buy nows until the time runs out. Hoping that Parker started one. Twenty-five seconds left. One through thirteen, near mint twenty dollars. Jeff Johns, Jim Lee, New Fifty Two Justice League. One through twelve, ten dollars, near mint. Master of Darkness, the shade. That's the entire run. One of twelve through twelve is the entire run. Batwing, first appearance of Talon. One through eleven, twenty dollars. Copperhead, one through nineteen, near mint twenty dollars. Wow, aren't you surprised? And then uh, Animal Man. If you want to add any of these to your PC, uh, hit me up on the DMs, and um, they're all near mint, so no worry about the grade there. <laughs> oh, what issue is it from? I don't, I don't really know. I think it was, I think it was more of a fan art uh, that he did, like more of a promotional crawling, but. Um, it was also on a cover, so maybe it's just a cover. Part. And if I answered that stupidly, I apologize. Um, okay. Well, we were going to... 
Lady Fantastic. All right. So I have a fun little Marvel lot. It's modern. Um, first, just got a reminder. I'll buy it now. Miss Marvel number two. Third printing was really hard to come by. Twenty dollars. So there's that. Um, this is an eight book Marvel lot. I'm gonna start it at five dollars. So um, uh, the first three are all homages to Starenko's, um a cover from uh, the Nick Fury Agent of Shield. I can't remember which issue, but you guys know the issue I'm talking about. So there's Sil Silver Sable um, 36. This is an uh, um, Audi Grano variant of Iron Man Director of Shield number 15. And then this is Guardians of the Galaxy um, number, uh, sorry, annual number one. Uh, then I have Web Warriors number one, X Men Battle of the Atom number one, Black Bolt number one, uh, Saladin Ahmed is the guy that's writing the um, uh, current Miles Morales, and then Christian Ward is just like one of the badasses ever in terms of art. Uh, of What If Infinity number one. It's a some wicked art as well. And then you've got a What If House of M number one. So start off at five dollars. So let me get my starting lines. Kevin, you heard that too? Loud and clear star scream. Was there something weird that you guys heard? Was it porno going off in the background? It was like a slight reverb that I'm picking up anyway. Uh oh. That cover's badass. Thank you. If you guys don't know anything about uh, Black Bolt, uh, his superpower is he has like extremely enhanced vocal cords. So whenever he sends vibrations out of his mouth through speaking, um, it's a lot of chaos and destruction. Really kick ass character. I'm just gonna pull this, man. I'm not. Nobody wants to. Do. You have something else to show? Yeah. Let's see. I got a Spidey lot that I can do. Uh, let's see here. So it's just a kind of a potpourri of different Spidey books. I can start it at the same price, five dollars. Um, this is Brian Michael Bendis's uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man. The um, the volume that came out right before the one that's out now. So that. Um, like, you six. Parker, can you can you uh, can you turn everyone else's volume off uh, through your end? Eight. Spider-Man and the Watcher Christmas Special 127 Spider-Man and Mr. Fantastic 132 ASM 292 Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man 102 Newsstand Spider Girls a number two, part of the Spider Geddon event. And then we got a Marvel Tales 92 um, first hammerhead. I had an extra one of those. So this is your Spidey lot, and it looks like I'm getting a little bite on it. So that's as Martha Stewart would say, a good thing. 
Starscream at seven. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, this one and the other Marvel Tales, the Marvel team up, these are in um, mid condition, but the other ones are in very fine. But these are mid grade. Um, this is very fine, near mint. Uh, just not a chicken it is beauty. It's a beauty, and uh, I want to say the same for this one. But let me just make sure. Yeah, I don't see a chicken in it at all. Just really nice. Come on, baby. Okay, so it looks like Starscream is the only other one that was in this, so, right? Yeah, yeah. So it looks like uh, you got it, buddy. I think Starscream got this for 10. Right? All right, I will type down an inline. If nobody beats me to it, I'll give a few seconds for a wag. Which two for twenty four? Then two for four dollars. All right. In line. Good pick up Star Scream. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm like abandoning trying to use my new ones. So back to the old one. Um I won't X it should be this this cool guy. This guy. What's that? Ah! Ah! Hey. What's happening? Muted to them. Fix that. Rookie hey. mistake. What's up everybody? Right. Uh, what's up, Parker? What's up, lady? What's up, cat? Yo. Am I forgetting any? Who am I forgetting? Tricky. Tricky. Hey, what's up, Tricky? It wasn't on purpose. I just couldn't remember. No, it was on purpose. Not much. Is it my turn? I, am I going to... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I guess I could show you by now as I got uh, this Harley slab. It's a J. on Shiletto cover, 9-8. From Unknown Comics, this is a Harley Quinn 75 with Joker and Punchline. I got that for a hundred bucks. Uh, and if you buy anything else, if you if you buy this plus anything else, or you have other books from me, uh, I won't charge any extra shipping. I'm gonna start doing probably like if you spend if you if you like hook it up with me and talk to me, and you spend a hundred bucks, I'll do free shipping or over a hundred bucks. I'll cover shipping. So if you buy this and you have any other books with me, you don't have to pay any extra. Or you buy this and then you buy some more books, you don't have to pay any extra shipping. So just a hundred, but if it's just this by itself, one fifteen. You know, just one slab by itself. Uh, and then I got <clears throat> one of these left. This is uh, just Harley, another version of 75 nine eight that's 100 bucks too same deal pretty much for any books as far as shipping trying to help everybody out and then i got this one this was a harder one to get it's a it's more limited so this one's 150 
that's that same pose of Harley without the without the shades oh, and yeah. punchline in the background, and it's a virgin. It's like a, a true virgin, which you don't really get too many DC. Yeah, not nowadays. True, 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 true virgins. They do a lot of the minimal trade ones. Oh. oh, God. And then I got one other by now I'll show real quick. Uh, this is a set. This is Harley Quinn number one. This is the Warren Lau set. Where it's like the trade dress, and then this is like the zoomed in image. Um, I think they're going for like 85, 90 bucks on eBay. If somebody, I can do them for like 75 for the set. I got a real nice copy for auction. Got a real nice copy of Batman 400. <coughs> with it's basically got a laundry list Sinky. Uh, of creators. Sinkovich did the cover. Art Adams, Brian Boland, John Byrne, Mike Grell, Kaluda, Mike Kaluda, uh, Joe Kubert, Steve Lealoa. And last but not least, Bernie Wrightson. Yeah, and Bernie Wrightson down at the bottom. You can't forget Bernie. And George Perez is in there, too. Yeah. It's like intro by Stephen King, Steve, too. Steve Rude, yeah, and an intro by Stephen King. Um, Good book. There's things like pretty, pretty, pretty clean. I'd say near mint. Near mint, solid near mint book. And then like, the spines nice and nice and clean. I can start this at twenty dollars. Joker's and this has like all the villains in it. Appearances by almost the whole rogues gallery. Uh, circa 1986. Thanks, Starscream. So I see you did a... Okay. Uh, this one's the auction. Wait, wait, I'm confused. He's been doing that all night. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if you had a $20. I said, a, I said a $20 starting line. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, well... Starscream's in a 20 then. <laughs> well, I heard wrong. My mistake. $20 start line. Sorry. Fine. Maybe you said. I'm, I'm like fairly, fairly, fairly certain I said that. Starscream's in a 20. He knows what's up. I okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you definitely said 20, bro. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Good to hear your voice, Cat. Hey, you too, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, no reason. <laughs> Just yeah. been busy. so darn busy. Hey, Josh. Josh, I got to hit you up on DM. I, I will. Probably tomorrow or the next day. I think I got a question. Nothing major. No big deal. Yeah, this thing is, it's in a mylar. That's why it's so reflective. Really nice sharp corners. Tell you what, if somebody, if we got a Batman fan and you want to go to 50, I got a copy, a real nice copy of Dark Knight Strikes, I mean Dark Knight, Batman the Dark Knight Returns, number two, the first Carrie Kelly. So that, I'll put that in at 50 if anybody's interested. Hmm. 
20. Got about 30 seconds left on the clock. If anybody else wants to get in on this, beautiful book. 1986. These are going to get tough to find in high grade because this is this book has a great story. Each one of these artists did a chapter. I have two or three copies of this that I got. I started getting autographed by different people. I don't know why. I must have forgot or something. <laughs> Five. Hey, sir, if nobody Five. else wants it, star screen get it for 20. I'm fine with that. And I got this one. If anybody, I guess, if, if star screen you're not interested, if anybody wants this for 30, oh. I got Dark Knight Returns 2 for 30. Starscream's your Batman guy. You might have it though, you know, if you have it already, you don't need it, but Hey, yeah, that one is Starscream for twenty. There's the inline. Well, I don't see it. There it is. Yeah, Starscream, you got a you got a lot of books. We'll get it sorted out. It's no big deal. I get them get them all packed up. I got the nice uh Comics Unlimited or Bags Unlimited, whatever it is, boxes. Three of those fit in a large game board box. It makes like a nice solid brick of comics with like 200 weight cardboard and another layer of cardboard around it. I've shipped a couple out and had good, re really good results. So all good on that. Let me grab a post-it and star screen. Cool. Thanks, Pat. Some more. Buy it now. It's over here. Okay, All right. That's what I got. Uh, here's a $15 buy it now. 15. It's a Joker number two, or just punchline cover. Lee Bermejo. This is a first appearance of Bane's daughter, Vengeance. And there's some other firsts in here. Um, <laughs> Weapon X, you're funny. And I think somebody, Jacob Steven, wants the Dark Knight Returns too. I see I'm that. Sorry. Yeah. sorry, Parker. Where did I put that now? Oh. Good. Put that there. No, I didn't put that there. Yeah. Yeah, weapon. <sighs> where where are you, weapon? You're supposed to be on here yourself. Yeah, Jacob Stahan. Cool, there you go. You said you said 30 on that one, didn't you? I don't 30 know. on that one. Okay. That's a good pickup for sure. That's a great book. Everybody should have that. Yeah, first carry Kelly. Classic. Well, Jacob, real quick, if you just hit me up on IG, I don't think I've dealt with you before. You can hit me up on IG. It's just Gorilla Todd Comics. You know what? I'll drop it in the chat. I'll drop my link. Uh, 15, $15 bin on that one. Fuck yeah. Thank you, uh, K-pop. Love Mr. Funk, man. Pay some more. All the pad stuff. All good stuff. Uh, another buy it now here. Well... I think I could auction these. I got Nightwing 78. I got 25 on it. Nightwing 79 and 15. I could auction the pair for, I'd do 30. I think that's it. Um, yeah, let's see if there's any interest. If there's not, I can move on and do something different. Uh, Nightwing 78 and 79. These are popping right now first prints both both near mint near mint plus i need a starting line don't i 
motherfucker actually went off with my mind. Do you need help doing there. starting lines? I was doing it sarcastically. We're all kind of like doing it for each other, or you do it yourself. So I, I made Lady do her own. Uh, I find it's easier if you just want me to do it. How much are you starting this at? Hey, do it, man. Go for it. How much? Uh, 30. 30? I hate doing it. I just hate things in that fact that they exist. I hate that. They, they, I get it. That makes things fair and stuff, and it makes it visually, you see it on screen and stuff. Don't, don't fight structure. Structure is a good thing. Yeah, I hate it though. <laughs> Thirty no, you're, bucks. You're a rebel. I'm a rebel. This is your first. Um, her name's Sarah, but it's Nightwing's. It's Dick's new dog, um, Fightwing. They're calling her. And he has a new villain in this one, Heartless. So both books start at thirty. Or if they don't go, I, I will have them as buy it now. It's for twenty five and fifteen. If you happen to, you know, maybe you only need one of them, but get them both. They're both hot spec books right now. Twenty five, fifteen, get them both for thirty. All right, I'll give you guys about thirty more seconds, and then I'm gonna move move it on. I'm gonna move it on down the line. What else do it with thirty? Okay, I got a new $30 item if these don't go. Last chance. Nightwing, $78.79, near mint, near mint plus. Flawless, unread books. Uh, some first appearances, some keys, some bright, hot pink action. Looks like he's grabbing Invincible. Not really First Fight Wing. Dick Grayson's new little pet doggy. Three-legged dog. Her name is actually Sarah. She was named by the fans. DC did a little thing, a thing, a little promotion thing, a little publicity, blubla, public, publicity stunt. Okay, this is also thirty dollars instead. It is uh, Ren and Stimpy number one, first print, newsstand near mint, still sealed with the Fowler. It's everything you want out of this book. It's the best it could be. Other than being slabbed. It's not slabbed and it's not signed. But it's sealed. It's got the power. It's first print. And it's newsstand. And it's near mint. So $30 would also be your starting price for this. Uh, I got 30 seconds on my timer. So decide quick if you want in. And if you want in on the Nightwing still, just uh, specify with your bidding. Let me know what you want. Tell me what you want. What you, what you, what you want. Or, also $30. I have shown this already. David Mack, Daredevil 25. That's just a buy it now. So you don't have to like bid anybody for it. I have two available. My last two copies. I've sold three. I have two left. Oh, you can still even kind of smell it through the bag. It does. It does work. Uh, okay, I'm dropping this. I'm tired of carrying it. I don't want to hold it more than I gotta. Again, these are still available, but now that I buy it now, it's at twenty-five dollars. Yeah, you guys can give me an inline. Oh, and $15. If you want them separately. And this was also $15. Joker number two. $15. Come on. And that was, uh, that was it. Showing that one last time. $30. $30. I'm retiring it. I'm not going to show it in any more auctions. You can buy it on my Instagram page. $30. I'm also going to retire this. I'm tired of showing it because I'm going to end up damaging it by holding it and showing it off. Touching it, fingerprinting it so many times. Licking it. Licking it and all the other, all, all the above. All the things. This is $75. $75, buy it now. Strange Academy 6. Virgin exclusive. Near Mint Plus. Um, I'll guarantee you a 9.8. I think this is... Jim Mint. 9.9. 10.0. Whatever. This is a, a perfect book in my opinion. 
So you'll get it in the top loader, double mylided, mylard. It'll be, it'll get to you. It'll get to you good. So seventy five dollars. If you want that, I'm not showing it anymore. Sick. Okay, cool. I think um, I think this handsome guy. Can have. Remember this one, Parker? Nope, I don't. Had the pen mark. I want one. Can I buy it for me? Remember, it had the pen mark. Sure. Did you yeah. s did you sell this to me? I may have. Yeah, it had pen. It had the date written here. Is it gone now? It's gone now. Make it disappear. But my auction is this. I'm gonna start this at seventy five dollars. It's oh. gonna be fifteen shipped. Batman who laughs number one nine point six signed by Capullo and Snyder. Nice. That was a good, that was a decent read. Signature of six hundred two oaks and viral. Ooh, not this. What did you say? 75, 70? I don't know. 75. 75. So, Kat, was these the books you guys, did you get them switched around by CBS uh, eventually? Yeah. Or was yeah, this the same books? You just, you just write them and say, uh, you guys fucked up on the labels. And That's really cool, though. Shit. I almost would have rather just had the, the, I almost would have rather collected the book with the different, uh, well, damn. see, the thing is, is that you would have to, you'd have to do them as a pair. And yeah, yeah, the other, yeah, for the sure. Other Which books, is still cool. It's still cool. The other book I'm this holding covers on Joe. Yeah. yeah, the other one I'm holding on to because it's sick. Yeah. So this is the Batman Who Laughs. What issue is this? Issue one. Oh, that's cool. Number one. It's double signed. Double signed. Double signed Verified. by the artist and the writer. By the artist and the writer. This is a Capullo variant. <clears throat> you know, an 8.5 is a beautiful book. 9.6? Perfect. Beautiful art. Uh, yeah, I, this is, uh, I, this I, is I, stupid I hope... cheap start right now, guys. Did you, uh, do you know anything about Mortal Kombat Cat 60? Um, I used to play it when I was a kid. Well, there is a, uh, in the latest game that they have, there's a, a guy named Noob Saibot. He has, like, a, there's a Batman Who Laughs, uh, costume where, like, basically you, you play Batman Who Laughs, like, in costume, like, on Mortal Kombat. It's super dope. All is missing is DB. Hey, what's up, algorithm? <clears throat> Shout out to algorithm gracing us with his presence. Busy man follows a lot of people in the community. Shout out to Agu. <laughs> Dude, he's like, Bruh. what? I don't even really know why he's got a 9 6. That's hilarious. What are you looking for? Your penis? I'm trying to see oh, why I got a 9 6. Oh, it looks like there's something funky in the bottom. Yeah, it's a little blowout in the corner. What up, Agu? Sorry. 
kind of blow out. Silly. Alright, we can move on. Move on. Move on. Move it on. <clears throat> ah. Alright, you beautiful you beautiful sons of bitches. Hey, Alright, this is gonna be a, basically a Captain America lot, okay? Uh, out of these books, uh, you're gonna find a few things, okay? This is the Marvel Superheroes Fall Special. You've never seen it before, I know. But, why this is a special book, uh, is that this Hulk story, um, this is the only book that prints this Hulk story, and this Hulk story has never been reprinted. So, um, the only place you're gonna find this Hulk story Never been reprinted. This is a square round book. It's in high grade. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, this this lot is going to start off at uh, 15. 15 bucks. This is uh, Captain America and Falcon 196. Probably in a fine. It's a fine. It's a Jack Kirby cover. Uh, but it's in a fine shape. <clears throat> Bloodstone. Part 2 of 6. Captain America. Um, it's in high grade. Bloodstone, part one of six. One. This is a 357. Also in high grade. Part one of uh, Man and the Wolf, Captain America. So this is where he becomes Cap Wolf. And then also 403. Guest starring Wolverine. They don't really do this anymore as far as comics are concerned. This book right here is Captain America 325. Uh, this is a Mark Jewelers. Probably in the fine, very fine, I would say it's in the fine plus, very fine minus range. You have uh, 399 in high grade. All right, I don't really know uh, what this is about, but maybe you guys do. Can you drop me a starting line, bro? Fifteen. Um, I have two copies of this. Okay, two copies. So this is two eighty two heads up. Constructor, the new nomad is in town. So this is the this may I think this is the first appearance of the new nomad. Um, and then also I think this is a reprint, and it says re, presenting the first appearance of nomad now. The cover's the same, uh, the price is different, and the background's different, but it, it has this book, and it also reprints the first appearance of Nomad. So I think it's the first first reprint of the first appearance of Nomad. You have Nomad issues. <clears throat> issue 1, I think this is issue 1 through 4, I have issue 1 through 4 in here. And then you have issues one through one through three. Uh, three is in a, in a Mark Jewelers, but like one through three is in this in this pack, right? So I have one through three of Nomad in that volume. Uh, I have some issues of of that volume. I have uh, the reprint and first print in a new stand of two fifty two. You have a Jack Kirby Falcon Captain America 196. And then you have the uh, fall special. Why this is special outside of the title is that it is the only printing of the Hulk story in this book. Starting at 15 bucks if you guys are interested in the, in the entire lot. You panel members need to take a shot of coffee. Get your shit together. Hey, get it together. Y'all need to take a shot of coffee and get your shit together, okay? okay. Not you, lady. You're on. You're on it. Oh, okay. So, well, tricky, when I old. was tricky, when I was a little guy, I was taught if I don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I don't know that you have anything nice to say most of the time. Todd. I say wonderful things all the time. What's the last thing you said that was wonderful? Parker's an awesome dude. I said, Kat, it's nice to hear your voice. 
That was pretty cute. That's that was pretty like sexy. You. Uh, that was a, a swell compliment to uh, Old Cat Sixty Two. All the things. Also, Todd, it's nice to see you, bro. I hope everything's going well. Your auction yeah, seems to be doing fantastic, man. Yeah, it's uh, I'm busy, man. That's all. That's really. It's just a busy, busy, busy. I've been busy with school. Years yeah, wrapping school's, up. Yeah, school's wrapping up. That's good, man. Uh, you got a lot of time then coming up. And uh, yeah, that's good. And I'm super happy for you. Uh, I'm glad things are going well. For sure. School's wrapping up. That means you a lot of free time coming up, right? Yeah, I'm doing a couple weeks of camp. I'm doing a drawing class. Uh, yeah, that's dope. And I'm excited about that. It's like a half a day for two weeks, so it's it's chill. That is chill, man. Hanging out with kids, drawing. Yeah. Uh, this is a buy it now. Um, one through. Let me check it out. Uh, one through fifteen. This is the creator of Bone. Uh, this is the first C2E2 exclusive printing. One through fifteen. Uh, I'll do a, a bin 20, if you're interested. A bin 20. Jeff Smith. I said Dave Smith earlier. And he didn't say Jeff Smith. <laughs> it's like what? It's, it's Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Tuesday yeah. evening. Parker's the only one awake right now. Okay. 15 bucks. Parker. I'm bidding it. Thanks, Parker. I appreciate you, bro. And I appreciate anyone who comes in. Yeah, for sure. You could beep it up. No love. Parker's got it. I appreciate everyone here. You guys can smash that like, share the auction if you want. It, we might have a... Uh, we might have... I mean, it's 12 o'clock. We've probably got a couple hours left in us, right? So... Um, Please, yeah, Sands out. might be ending soon. So if you know anyone who's over there after that, that auction ends... You know, plug the auction. Uh, my top spender tonight is getting a free commission. A free commission sketch by me. Like, I'll draw any character you want. I sold two lots tonight, so it's either going to be Keith Lackey or uh, whoever took my or, – or Shutter Duck. So, um, you guys, who whoever's my top spender is going to get that free commission. So, appreciate it. All right, cool. Well, now timer really is out. Let me drop it in line. Thanks, Thanks Parker. Surely. I know a good deal when I see it. You keep me a couple books. I can sell a couple. Right here. I still have some books left over. Type in the inline. Last chance. Going once. Going twice. So. Oh. All right, cool. Trap tap stick tricky guy. Lance man. Yeah. Thank you. Trip trap and trick check. So um I have a couple of five dollar buy it now, a ten dollar buy now, and then a um auction. So the first five dollar buy it now is Wolverine sixteen and Wolverine uh twenty. And those are both in very fine plus shape. Buy it now, five dollars. This tiger shark one is bad, bud. So that's a bin five. If anyone's interested, uh, I also have a bin five on um, this Mars attacks uh, and the Savage Dragon one of four and the Predator number one. So that's a buy it now for five for those two. I also have four, four forty. First appearance of the Thor Core, Minty Crisp, buy it now 10. Um, the starting bid is going to be um, $10 for this Marvel lot, 10 books, pretty sure. Two, four, six, eight, it's 10 books, starting at $10. Um, the first one is Heroes for Hire, number one. See that Moon Knight right there? You got your Iron Fist. Ghost Rider, um, Electra, Punisher, yeah, I think the, a, a Motley Crue there. Then you've got, um, this is Avengers Undercover, number one and number two. Uh, then you've got the 
Um, Inhumans, uh, Death of the Inhumans number one, Young Gun variant. Death of the Inhumans number two, Second Print. And then Death of the Inhumans number three, Young Gun variant. Wolverine number one, Jason Aaron. Luke Cage number one, Dig It. Written by the same guy that wrote the Power Truck, Powderpuff Girls. Um, Star Wars Beckett number one. Black Bolt number one. And there's your lot. Starting at 10 bucks. So. You can get a nice lot of Marvel number ones in the world if you're interested in. Ah. It's right here. Phone is just constantly having issues. Ten dollar start, you said? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. uh I can throw in another lot. I can start something else. You guys want me to? Got yeah, plenty of time. Got a minute and a half. Two All minutes. Right. And a half, really, whatever. Time. Let's see. Let's see if maybe anybody is interested in. I don't know. I have some Captain America. I don't know. Okay, I'll do that. Kinda want them, kinda not. Okay. I'd pay ten bucks for those. Yeah, shoot. I, mean, mm. I don't have a keyboard. I can't bid right now. If he doesn't. Oh. I would. Just let me know, um, because I'm about to throw another lot on. Um, if anybody's interested in this, um, or you uh, view this later, um. Afterwards, when you're interested, just hit me up and um, we can talk. Oh, I have this cap lot. This, ooh, okay, Michael, let's just get it back in here. Let's just, let's just calm down. Starscream. He never, be, oh, okay. Michael. So, Michael, you want them for 10. Michael Wimberly. I have a pile for you, Michael. So, all right. Well, all right. Yeah, I was trying to get my computer on. I mean, I was going to as well. The timer's well, not up yet. Exactly. The so Starstream doesn't have to fold or anything, but unless it one's out. But uh, if anybody's interested, I do have another small little Captain America lot. This one specifically is when the Falcon and Winter Soldier first team up in that issue 25. Um, we've also got like a what if and a Zinkevich. Yeah. So. Parker, did you want to know this or not? I'm in. I just bid. Did you? Oh, yeah, you did. Jesus Christ in a chicken basket. Just because I'm feeling crazy, I'm going to throw in a shiny. 
and I want kind of want this like tangerine thing. I don't know what that one is. Avengers time slide. There you go. That's Parker awesome. couldn't help himself. All right. Is it a shiny wraparound cover or no? Yeah, it is a shiny wraparound. Can you show us that? Yeah. Yes. I really love yeah. shiny wraparounds. Yes, yes. I and read your rounds. So. Poopy. Shiny reach rounds. Oh, 15, 16, 17. Uh, closer look. I need to see all the characters. I have that one. Oh, do you? Yeah. I do. Oh, fizzle. Shiny uh, reach uh, round. I just want one book out of there. What book it's, do you want? The Inhumans, like, second print, but it's fine. I've got an extra copy of that. I'll give it to do you. you. Do you? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. For a million well, I dollars. I folded. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wimberly. So you see this? Oh my God! There's that second print. Yeah, that one right there. Oh my God! I have another one. Oh my God, sweet. Oh my God. Okay. So give Wimberly the highest grade. So oh, I'll oh. give. Um, I am. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm always, I know Peter likes his, his things in shit condition. That's so that's yeah. so totally that's, true. I'm gonna I chew on the end of one before I send you. Need you to poop through, inside but. the front cover. Uh, yeah, I'll okay. do something with it. That's great. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> beep 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 beep. I will get the actual timer. It killed my ears. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, hey, wake up! It's your turn. Uh, it's marathon rounds. Okay. <laughs> you still got Michael Wembley 17 on the screen. Chop, sure, chop. Do. sure do. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got some buy nows as usual. Uh, I got this uh, nonstop Spider Man number one. This is the David Nakayama Meta Humans mm -hmm. variant. Uh, I think it's limited to like 500. I think more than half of the, I think it was supposed to be 2,000, but then like about 75% of the print run was destroyed and damaged. Uh, so I have this as a buy now for $20. This is a, a, an Archie, an iconic Archie cover. So this is an homage to that with Felicia and Mary Jane and Peter enjoying the milkshake. You see it says DNA, that's David Nakayama's signature after Lucy. So got that for twenty dollars if anybody's interested. I have a few copies, so that's available. Okay. And then I have one of these punchline number one variants. Um I think this was like a 2000 print run. It's a Derek Chu uh, shared variant. I can do this one. Like a spider. Spin, spider. Okay, DB, you want one of those spiders? Okay. Yeah. You got it. Josh is asking. Yeah, you have two of those, Josh. Yeah. Cool, cool. Definitely have two of those. Cool. Perfect. Um, I got the punchline for 20. If anybody's I, interested, the Dark Chu punchline number one variant. So, DB Strikers taking the Spidey. I do have uh, some more copies of that. If anybody else is interested in the Spidey, let me know. DB Striker. Hey, Lisa Noble. How are you doing? Hey, Lisa. Oh, what's up? Uh, Hi, Lisa. Okay, and then I got the uh, Cult of Dracula. This is the Hackjaw variant. I have the uh, trade dress right here. Pretty cool cover. And then I also have the Virgin cover that goes with it. Oh, my. So I got the set for 30 Pretty good deal. That's a good deal. 
you know, I was, you know me, Parker. I don't try to give people big deals. So that's available for thirty. I have a couple sets of that. Um, I got a couple sets available of, uh, I guess today or tomorrow. This first cover, first full appearance of Miracle Molly comes out. She's like the the head of the new. Um, oh boy. Yeah. Organization. What's it called? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. But she's, uh, they do like, they inject themselves with some kind of drug that makes them lose all their fears and like past memories of like all their criminal activity. So they go into everything like, I, I believe that's the premise. Hmm. So, Miracle Molly, I have the set available for 12 bucks. The blue cover, I have a couple of those available. Ooh. Um, that's the first appearance, Todd. That's the first full appearance. She was in like one panel of 106. I have that one too somewhere, but it's just like it's like a, a cameo. It's one one small panel. She's on the phone, and I think there's a, she's in like two panels, but that's okay. it. This is her first. This is like her first full and first cover. So, Josh, you got a set? Oops, what happened? Okay, Josh, I'll get you down for that. Like I said, I got a few of those. If somebody else wants a set, I can help them. Um... And one other buy it now. I got these uh, David Nakayama. I guess they're calling these the color bleed variants. I have Electra in her classic costume. This is Daredevil 29, I believe. I have her in her classic costume. And then in the Daredevil costume, I can do the set for 50. Or if you want either one, 25. If you go and these are from Unknown Comics. If you go on Unknown Comics right now and try to buy one of these or just one of each of these, they're 30 a piece. So I'm trying to give you a better deal than if you even bought them from Unknown Comics. Um, 25 a piece, 50 for the set if anybody's interested in those. It wouldn't be May the 4th without a Star Wars lot. So we got... Uh, the big event that's happening, War of the Bounty Hunters. So I got a good number of covers in this set. I'll start this at 20. We got the, uh, this is the, the A cover by McNiven after Stephen Platt. See, he's got the little, and that's a Moon Knight uh, homage right there. And then you've got a Lionel Francis U cover. For War of the Bounty, this is Boba Fett, or this is War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha, an, another version, and it's going to be the debut debut of Boba Fett's Black Armor. Hey, Hunters, how you doing, man? And this is the action figure variant that debuts Boba Fett's Black Armor, and then we've got uh, War of the Bounty Hunters Director's Cut with another McNiven cover. Tight, tight, tight. Sup, hunters. So start that at twenty. Okay, twenty dollars start. And if it goes to thirty, I have something else I can Star Wars related I can throw in there. Got oh. Paul, 619 for 20. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Boba Fett with a battle axe. I like that. Yeah. Got a little over a minute left. 
You guys want to get on this Star Wars lot? It's at 20 bucks. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. What do I? No. And like I said, if it goes to 30, I got a, something pretty cool Star Wars related to throw in. Me too, Hunters. Me too. Oh, pardon me. Forty seconds left on the clock. Give you a little tease. At thirty, I have the Star Wars Insider. This is the newsstand edition with Yoda on the cover. The regular edition doesn't have Yoda. Oh, and that's a it's a nine ninety nine cover price. So, you know, at thirty, you're ba it's basically sure. cover price. I'm not, you know. Big. Southern Comic Geeks in at 30. I highlighted it. And it looks like we got Roman Curtis in at 30. Uh, happening. Hey, Roman Curtis, man. I got both those packages I sent you got returned to me. I repackaged them in one box and sent them out. Okay, so that so that's in transit right now, just to let you know. So now we got the Yoda. Tight, tight. Norman Curtis, thirty-five. So Come this on. has book debut of. Boba Fett's black armor. You know, you got the newsstand. Star Wars Insider in the lot. Nice interview with Timothy Zahn. He wrote all the extended universe. <laughs> Pretty cool. He wrote all the, the extended universe novels. <coughs> oh, really? Got a fold from Paul. Still got Roman Curtis in there. Timer has expired. If you could get a fold. Nice lot of Star Wars there. Eh? Yeah, you know, May the 4th. Got to do a little Star Wars. May the 4th, you're right, exactly. <laughs> I, I made a lot to show, and then I decided not to because it really, I, I just don't care. It's Star Wars. You're not a big Star Wars guy, I know that. Not at all. Not in the slightest. I don't. I don't completely hate the uh, like the original three movies or the like old Marvel. The original Marvel run is cool, but I, the, like what you're holding and the modern stuff and the, I, I, the what's her name Afra and all that stuff. I just can't. Just can't. And the was pretty solid, man. I mean, yeah, and I think I will eventually break down and watch it, and I'll watch the. You got Roman Curtis in at forty five. Mandalorian's definitely a solid. Um, even just as a casual, like as a non-fan, I've heard it's just good TV. So yeah, so. yeah, it's it's honestly like if you like spaghetti westerns, you'll like. I do. So it's like right up my alley. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's I, I know you do, and that's why I'm. You know, that's why I'm saying it like that. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool. I like that he did the the Stephen Platt Moon Knight <laughs> homage there. Nice Lionel Francis shoe cover. You awesome action figure variant. And then we got the new Stan Star Wars Insider with your friend and mine, Yoda, and the, the droids in the corner. 
I like Lando. Lando's my favorite. Lando's the coolest dude in the galaxy. Dude, he is, man. Dude, my buddy, <laughs> I had a buddy. He shot me a picture. He was on a he was on a stream with Lando tonight. Lando, uh, Mark Hamill, Diego Luna, and Frank Oz. Nice. Uh, it's like, gosh, how do I get invited? No kidding. <laughs> That's cool. Roman Curtis with the full. It looks like that they're going to Southern Comic Geek. Four, okay. Four, six, four six. Nice, good pickup. So Southern, uh, you let me know if you wanna if you want these ship right away. Um, you know, nine bucks shipping. If you want to build up to a hundred and get free shipping, you let me know. Cool. Cool, 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 beans. Trapper the Trickster, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, uh, I've been laying on the floor. All right, so uh, I have a – I'm going to start this off at free. So free, F-R-E. Free, um, free, free, free. Carnival of Death 1. Uh, part one of two. This is Spirit of Vengeance. There's Zarathos cover. Uh, this is probably some of my favorite shit. Adam Kewart from the, from this time is like my favorite art probably. So we have issue two. We have a sealed issue one. There we go. Issue Kevin makes these that free. We have issue five. Spirit of Venom. The oh, most, sick probably one of the most right badass there. covers that exists in comics ever. Top Spirit six of, covers ever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 lit. It's lit. It's lit. Legendary. We have issue three. Uh, we have issue eight. We have issue one out of the poly bag, so you it comes with a sealed in the poly bag, and then one out of the poly bag. It's a reader reader copy. Uh, the reader copy is. Uh, is in lower grade than the sealed. The sealed smear net, right? So we have issue four. Um, Star screen. Beautiful, beautiful Lilith cover. Lilith cover. Lilith. 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 Uh, sick ass Zarathos issue ten. So there, there's some issues missing. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So we have issue six, issue three, and five. Spirits of Venom, Spirits of Vengeance 8, Spirits of Vengeance 7, <coughs> Issue 1, not polybagged, Issue 2, sealed on the polybag, or sorry, Issue 1, sealed in the polybag, Issue 4, Issue 2, uh, my finger points bearing, uh, Issue 2, <laughs> right, right. Uh, issue nine, yeah. So sick ass lot, nice, uh, nice, nice, uh, nice lot we got going. Carlos does enough of this petty shit. <laughs> <laughs> My finger points. All right, guys, listen. Uh, I kind of had this book out as a buy it now. Um, I'm gonna show it. It's gonna go into the lot if you wanna if you wanna pop it up to thirty. But at thirty dollars, okay, it's at fifteen. 15 could go up on its own because it's a great lot. Uh, this is. Oh, uh, god damn it, it's a newsstand. It is a newsstand. It's hard to find as fuck. You're not going to find it on eBay. No. Uh, this is a newsstand. This is a high grade. Uh, with this book, so at, at 30, um, this book comes in. I'm just tossing Back. Back. 2099 in for fun, but you get a, a nice newsstand copy at 30. Um, hard to find, and also um, very high grade. Let me. Any color breaking tick? No. Mm, Nothing that breaks color. Yes. Uh, well, check it. Let me get it. I don't mind um, ticks that don't break color. This one does. There's one that breaks color. It's a hairline tick. You see it? Yeah, barely. That's that It's a nice copy. It's a nice copy. Probably, you're not going to find one at 30. You're not going to find one. But when you do, 
Um, this one is a very high grade, so I will say there's one small hairline color breaking tick. Okay, I see shit more because I'm close to it, and you don't get to see it, but it's in there. So still look near mint minus. It's still fucking. It's, yeah, off. it's definitely it's definitely near mint. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it gets in your uh, nine six. Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Te- that's technically still a near mint plus, and so like in some then, scales. Uh, I'm just tossing this one in for free, but um, yeah. you're getting this. This was going to be a buy now, but I'm just going to toss it in the lock. Refold. I folded Sp- earlier and I came back Thanks, in. Thanks, Bigsby and Carlos. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little preview of my next lot. This is just something I've had out for a while and I haven't been able to like put it up. But it's basically going to be like a Sam Keefe lot. Uh, every book in the lot is going to be Sam Keith. Um, it's keep coming up. Keith. Why do you keep saying Keith? Yeah, Keith. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Keith. It's regular Keith. Yeah, no, no. Keith with with a T-H. Yeah, Keith. Yeah, Keith with a ah. T-H. <laughs> so damn. Carlo. Well, because I suck. You? Yeah, you do, Kevin. And, damn, I want to buy it now. Uh, appreciate you, Carlos. Um, pretty cool lot. I, I uh, also want to express my love and gratitude for everyone in the chat, just in general. You guys kick ass. You can be anywhere. You can be ass. anywhere, but you're here on the Peter Parker Comics from Beyond Comics YouTube auction. You boo. You got a oh, shit. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Jesus. Yeah, you got like 25, 30, you got 25 seconds left now. Carlos back at 43. Time is not up. Anybody can get in. Got 43. How, how many more rounds do you want to go, bro? I was probably just thinking one more. I won't die if we do two or three, but... Or right, if, if, if Parker's thinking mom. one more and there's people here, what? listen. Say Parker's thinking one more and there's more people here, okay? Uh, listen, I have other books I can add in potentially if anyone gets, if anyone's interested. All right, so we got it's basically a Wolverine lot. Okay, we got Weapon X one. We got some stuff. Okay, why it's a cool lot is because of. Oh shit! Where did that book go? I'm coming with uh, some books. Just let me look through these because I'm missing one. Oh, there she is. All right. So, if anyone's interested and wants to keep going, uh, I have a new stand of Wolverine Six. Uh, probably VF. Beep 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 beep. But keep going. Yep. You got better. Bitch. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm issue just seven, probably VF minus, but it's, they're both newsstands. It's just a, basically a Wolverine lot, okay? A Wolverine lot. <clears throat> if you're interested, cool. uh, what are we at right now? Okay, we're 43. At... 43. Okay, so I'm going to put these in at 50 if anyone wants. Uh, All they're right. just going to be some random Wolverine books at 50. We got Wolverine 50. Uh, die cut cover. Uh, just some. The reason you would want this a lot, to be honest, is uh, issue seven and uh, and six. Okay, so seven and six. They're both new stands. Uh, they're in the VF range, probably. Uh, one hair tick for trick. I grant leap for bola. What the fuck are you? On Peyote Star Scream. <laughs> this is the reason you would come in at fifty if you wanted to. Okay, so if you don't come in at fifty, that's okay. I don't care. Uh, and you're just taking the spirits a lot. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a give it a second, and then uh, Carlos will steal it at forty three or take it at forty three. And that's okay. Yeah, Brooklyn folds. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. 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 Sure, 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 sure. X-Farce with 
parody character. Yeah, I do have an X Force. I do have an X Force uh, issue. Apex. I appreciate you, uh, Carlos. And I'll be sending you a box out pretty soon, bro, because your shit is full. That is the inline. Yeah, awesome. Didn't miss anything. Nice pickup, missing uh, Carlos. Yeah. Smashingly great pickup. Okay, okay, okay. Yo. Thank you. So, yo, yo. this is going to be my final round. How about your first round and you have ten more in you? Okay. And this is going to be a ten look book lot that I start off at. One million, kajillion, fabalapalapajillion. Free. I started off at free. So my, my last lot is free. Starting bid. Um, and we've got... Samurai, Samurai Legend, and then it says The Heart of the Prophet, and this is back during the Marvel Max days. I wish it would focus, but it's probably not going to. There you go. Well, so there's that, number one. Uh, you've got Mighty Avengers 14, which is an homage to um, Avengers 57. We've got Remender's Uncanny X-Force uh, 35, Tedesco uh, cover art, and the final issue. So, that's kind of cool. Final issue for run. Um, then you've got Eternals number 3, Design Variant, Cersei. And you've got Wolverine 50. New fans. Oh, they. Wolverine 50, new stand. That's bad, but. What if Infinity and Humans? Is nobody going to claim it? It's three. What if House of M? Number Kevin's one. In it. Kevin's in it, free. Are you in it, free? Sweet. Um, Tony Stark Iron Man number one variant with the um uh, machine, machine war machine prototype armor. Yep. And then you've got the Ant Man four Miami Vice <laughs> homage. And then finally you've got X Men Battle of the Atom number one. So. Kevin, uh, or sorry, Michael Wimberly has bumped uh, from three to seven. And so, this is, I wish it would focus. And so it seems like I have to go in super close and then. But this is super thick for a first issue and it's kind of rad. Thick. Kind of rad. You guys, it's kind of rad. It was starting at free. It was starting at free. Starting at free. I sorry, Bixby. I sorry. We can see it. I flooded. I just want that samurai book. It's so cool. Dark Shoes at 13. Really, 12. We can see your stupid bits. We get it. Yeah. We get point. Shut your mouth. So, 15, we're at about half the value of one right there in your hand. Yeah. It's like half the value of this. Just that. Just this. This is like in this condition for a new fan. Fucking throw Yep, for sure. See you, Mario. Thirty dollar book. See you, Max. Have a good night. Thanks for um stopping by and saying yo. Does it, <laughs> does it look like it might chafe? It hurts me just looking at. It. That's a cool one, Mike. 
I did not read it, Apex. I bought two variant covers of it, but I did not read it. I think this may be Christian Ward. I would need to check. Looks like a... Might be Rossmo. Yeah, it looks like a... Might be Rossmo. Rice, one of Reese or Rice Brothers. Transfold? I planned on reading it before the movie comes out. I saw the little, not even a trailer, the little clip today or whatever, the little Marvel video they put out. What comes in at 20? Greedy, greedy, greedy. You already folded. What are you doing? Star um, screen. I'll throw in three new books. At 20, I'll throw in Quicksilver, number one. Part of the no surrender. That's cool. Wolverine sixteen. That's comic. This and then Wolverine twenty. The tiger shark. Yeah. So, um, so uh, at twenty, those three books will come in: the Quicksilver one, no surrender, and the will be sixteen and twenty. Cool. If you want them. If not, uh, Wimberly gets it. That would work for me. So just let us know, Michael Wimberly. Just let us know. If you want to go for 20, if anyone else wants to get in, and uh, you can still get in a bid right now. But if anyone wants to get in at 20, you are welcome to. Or whoever is. this. But in line coming soon, in like 10 seconds, I'm typing it. So, bid now or forever hold it up. Please. Newsstand, ordering 50. That's absurd. Yeah. Yeah. It's tempting still. Not That's good. absurd. I'll get, I gotta give it to you guys. I gotta give it to you the chat. I'm definitely still here. Yeah, I can't take every deal. All right, I'm about to hit enter on the inline, so. All right, so then. Uh, Good going. Ready? Good, he said. Ready? Go. I think we're going to give it to. Mike Wimberly, 15. Okay. Just okay. let her know if you. Oh, come on. Star Scream comes in at 20. <laughs> he got it. He snuck it in. Son of a shit. You son of a shit. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but. I shall respect your, you know what, this is what I'm going to do, just because I want to get it rid of, um, at 25, Starscream, I'll add in 25, I'll add in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different more variants. So if you want to throw in five more bucks, I'll throw in five more Tony Stark Iron Man variants. Sorry, I had you. <laughs> well. So um, I think Wimberly will need to counter at this point or fold. Put that offer for. Uh, those extras, if you want them, still stand. I know, Kevin, it was crazy, wasn't it? Wimberly says I'll do it. It all depends on how much you like Iron Man. So, they're all ready. Woo! The six stack. All right. Josh comes back at 26. We're almost at the value of this book. Timer has not expired, so we will just go to one of you two folds. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Damn it. I need to. Apex. My loss is your gain. Why do the captain's books, why do the, the captain books you showed earlier come? Captain books. When, what captain books are you talking about? 
Oh, Captain America. You're okay. So let me just find these. Uh, I have to grab them real quick. One, two, three, four. Okay, you're referencing these. All right, at 35, I'll go in these. So you're at 26, or somebody's at 26. Um, Michael will fold any minute now. Okay, so um, at 35, I'll throw in this what if cap number 44, the Captain America who will wield uh, the shield. So that's the aftermath of. Um, and there he's in at 35, so they're all in. So then you get this is the first um, official tune up of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And then this is just another badass. Uh, issue from this same run the same run as this awesome. so yeah Blue baker cap holy moly mackerel i kind of want to count hold on one two three four five six eight all right star stream folds good okay. pick up michael i gotta run my dog out so gorilla you can you want to just take over? I'm going to give you a starting line and just have it. <coughs> sure. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Fantastic. Take care, Lady. Thanks. You guys be safe. Okay. Um, new stuff. Stuff I haven't shown yet. Uh, I have this Carnage, Black, White, and Blood exclusive variant. Okay. By... um. No, why am I Cal New. Yeah, Cal New. So I have the trade dress and the Virgin set for sixty if anybody's interested. So buy it now, sixty dollars for the set, the Virgin and Trade. Sure, the, got the punchline I showed last time. Twenty. I'll do that for fifteen if somebody wants it. I think I said twenty. That one for fifteen. You can do the Curse of Dracula hack draw set for thirty. The Virgin and Trade. I still have some more, a few more copies of the Nonstop Spider-Man, David Nakayama, Archie homage cover. That one's twenty. Now there are a couple bidders on the Star Wars lot. And I, I had sent uh, messages to everybody who bid. I do have another identical set. You know, and if, if somebody wants it for 46, that's what Southern, that's what it ended at. Um, I can do another set for 46. If anybody's interested in that, just let me know. Hmm. Let me show a couple more buy it now since he's taking the dog out. Um, I even have. Now, 
think I have something cool to put in here. Yeah, okay, I got one more of these. I got the uh, latest issue of Spawn. This came out, I think, last week. 317. I have covers, all three covers. And then I have the black and white variant, which is the McFarlane. The McFarlane cover, it's the one in five ratio. Um, I can do the, the four books for 15 bucks. Buy it now if somebody's interested. Hey, Billy, good to see you, man. I know I still got some books to ship you. I didn't forget about you, man. Um, $15 on the spawns if anybody's interested. <laughs> and then, um, hmm. Let's do Okay, so I got, I'll do another little Star Wars lot. Uh, I got Star Wars Adventures number one. This is the retailer. Yeah, the retailer incentive A cover with Ray and BB 8 on the cover. And then I have Darth Vader 33, The Empire Strikes Back, 40th anniversary. I am your father. Very iconic scene from Empire Strikes Back. And then I have the regular number 11. I'll start these three at 20. Let me do a start line. I got to wait for the chat and... YouTube to catch up. Sorry, everybody. It takes a second. Doodly, doodly, doodly. Okay. To paste. Oops. Um, let's do 20. Okay. So you should have a $20 starting line event in a moment. Okay, so we got these three for 20. Pick those up a few bucks. I got something else to throw in. What's up, Billy Stewart? To add value. Get these taped up. So we got two Darth Vaders and the retailer incentive Star Wars Adventures. Uh, 
Oh God, man, it's happening. No, it just dropped a twenty dollars starting line a little bit ago. I don't know. If it seems like maybe there's no interest, but. I'll tell you guys what, I would, this is what I was going to bring in. If I got a few more dollars, I'll just throw it in if somebody wants it for 20 I've got the, uh, this is pretty cool. It's the Empire Strikes Back, the 40th anniversary. So this has Ooh. all the covers from, you know, all, all the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back anniversary covers in it. Pretty cool book. So, cool. Somebody wants to go in for twenty. I got four. The four books. Um. I'd do it for like 10 bucks, Southern, if you wanted it. If you want just the, uh, yeah, the Star Wars Adventures, the retailer incentive, I'll do it for 10. If nobody's interested in, you know. You let me know. Yeah, the the four for twenty is a better deal, definitely. So, I don't know, Park. You want to give it like a thirty second clock, and if Southern wins it for twenty. He gets it for twenty. Sure, sounds good. Start that now. I wasn't, I wasn't running a clock or anything. One other buy it now I have, if anybody's interested. I have this uh, Vampirella versus Purgatory, The Virgin. In the trade. I have that set available for 15 bucks. If anybody's interest, interested, uh, interested. Holding books and talking is challenging. Yeah. yeah. Not dropping them. At five seconds left. So last chance. If anyone wants to talk this, at least we're getting a free book at twenty bucks. But I'm okay with that. You're a good dude, Southern. I'm glad. Is <laughs> <laughs> in line. Kablam. Kabloom. 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 I'm just gonna put that on your pile, Southern. I changed 46 to 66, and you just owe me the 20 on that. And you're good. And we're working towards the number. Per perfect, man. Solid. Solid. Blood. I, I try, I try, I try. We'll do a couple by nows, and then I have probably the last auction. I think I'm about tapped out. You guys are welcome to do another round yourselves. Uh, and then we'll, I think we'll probably pack it in or just see where it goes. You know, you know, whatever. Stranger things have happened. It's $15. Buy it now. You want it? Solid Blood, number 17, which is really issue one. $15. Uh, blah. What? What? <laughs> Maybe that's it. This is all pricey stuff. Satan. Okay. I'll auction this. It's uh, Daredevil, The Death of Electra. That was not too many by now. So that's all I all I have here. Daredevil 181, The Death of Electra. Oh man, it's so cool. 
start this at twenty five dollars twenty five dollars only problem with it it's great condition other than it has this big old spine split not all the way just uh, about two th uh, a third of the way maybe it maybe a half it's a little less than half 45 percent split up the side but it's fine if you get it right in the bag and board right you don't even notice it's great so with that, I gotta call it like a good to very good. Then eh, it's hard to grade that. If that wasn't there, you're looking at like a VF minus, fine plus. So you do the math. I'm not a professional grader. Twenty-five dollars starting bid. If somebody wants this, could you the press up here? It's all attached to uh, the top very well, perfectly. Oh yeah. Let start one. Start one, start one. One, five, start. Good. I did. Bid. <laughs> so then get your bit off the screen. Filthy, dirty, dirty. That was good. Ah. This is the death of Electra temporarily, and then she came back many times. She's died again and came back. Who cares? And she became Daredevil. She's Daredevil now. Who cares? It's Electra. I don't care. Maybe you guys do. Maybe. Who cares? She had a movie. Wait, way, to sell a, way to sell a book with that plastic, classic Parker charm. <laughs> ah, I know, I know. I'm just, I gotta be real. You gotta be real with people. If they want it, they'll buy it. They know what it's they pretty, want. It's a pretty good run. I'm not going to sway them. I, don't, I hate the run. It's like a critically acclaimed. Frank Miller, no thank you. No thank you. Okay. All right, if we don't do that, my last other auction. Oh, and I'm, it's funny when I'm, I debate, I, I trash things that I'm clearly in the minority of, minority of disliking. I think you just don't like to like what the majority likes. Well, not, I don't it's know. the rebel in you. Yeah, maybe. I have the whole run here of Emerald Dawn. One through six. They're all high grade. $10 starting bid. They're all packed compactly in here, so they're not near mint. But they're all CF plus or better. It's a good read. I probably have number one or some part of Emerald Dawn Part 2. If I find it, I will throw that in. I No promises, but I think I do. I can pull them all out and show them. I probably should. $10 starting bid. Probably have a minute left on the clock. I didn't start a timer, so you get the cool cover of that one. Here's issue two. Ta -da. This is $10 start. Uh, let me put this in. Because you can't hear in this moment. Stars. <laughs> Issue three. Ferrari theme. It's not. It's Ferris aircraft. You got Ferris aircrafts. Not Ferrari. I thought that said Ferrari. Oh, look at that cool cover. Oh, those grips. And then, uh, maybe the seven issue. I don't know, six issue. That's cool, cover. Ten dollar start for this whole set. Look at all those lanterns. That's probably first cover appearance of at least four lanterns. Give or take. Tomari is on there. My favorite. Fish face. Kilowog. Uh, Sinestro, and that's literally all I can name. I know her, but I don't know her name. But I know her. And then... I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? You guys are fun. Alright, last chance. That's 10 bucks. Oh, comic proposers in a 10. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. What a guy. 
beep, beep, beep. Time's up, though. So, up, oh, oh, my microphone's going weird. Right, you have to jump out of here, jump back in. But he's going to go to Comic Book Poser, I think. One sec, one hot second. Hey, everybody. I don't know that I have anything new, but I got the Harley slabs I showed you. If anybody wants either of these, nine eights, a hundred each. I just figured it was better than staring at them. Yeah. Okay, I want to put an inline down. Those are those are gonna be yours. Hypothetically, nobody. This nobody. is the book I'm most excited to read. It came out last week. Monster by Barry Windsor Smith. Fifteen years in the making. What's that? That's cool. This thing is beautiful. Look what? That. That's awesome. Freaking Barry Windsor Smith. Fifteen years. It was a Hulk. It, 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 he made a. It was a Hulk. Uh, supposed to be a Hulk story. Mm-hmm. But one of the geniuses at Marvel, one of the brainiacs, said, "No, thank you." So, you know, we don't want Barry Windsor Smith doing a Hulk story. Ridiculous. You did, poser. You did. How are you, my friend? How are you? Clearly, you're awake now. All right. Well, tricky. It's your turn. Comic, book, poser, ten doll hairs. We lost lady? Lady left. She left. Oh, she left a while ago, didn't she? I said goodbye to her. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think you have books with me. Yeah, I think there's like one to one to a couple books I have for you. I don't I don't care. I can check. I gotta stop touching things. Fucking shit up. That's what you said. Yeah, what did I do? Tricky, you alive? He passed out on the floor. I think he's dead. Hey, hey Fantastic's here. You can you can do a round from the chat. Just tell us what books you've seen. Sad, you're up again then, I guess. Go ahead. I mean, I'll, I'll just run through my buy it nows, and if I come across something to auction, I'll auction it. Okay. Okay, so if I call quits when you're done, so no rush. Yeah, take your Vampirella speed. Purgatory. Okay, Vampirella Purgatory okay. trade and Virgin set. Let's be honest, neither one of those two are virgins. Fifteen, <laughs> 15 bucks for the set. Um, we got Curse of Dracula. I'll tell you what, if somebody really wants it, I'll do a set for 25 right now. So that's basically the cost. So. Nice. 25 if somebody wants it, let me know. Got the Carnage set, that one's 60. Nice Mylars, beautiful Cal New. This is the the homage to when uh, when Carnage got the power cosmic way back when. We got these David Nakayama Electra variants. We know how much Parker loves Electra in the Daredevil costume and in her classic costume. Twenty five a piece on those. Mm. Uh, here's something I haven't shown yet. Okay, this is a this is a book I got from a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo called Brutus the Badass. It's kind of a throwback to like the '90s. It's a like a high octane. Kind of, I think it's like a Lobo kind of inspired, you know, big action book. But this is, it's a signed edition. It's signed by the artist Donald DeLay. 
and it comes with a little, you know, the little note from him and some cards and other little accoutrement, maybe a sticker or something. They're they're under there under the paper. I didn't really like didn't want to get it all handy, but I can do that. That one's thirty bucks if anybody's interested in that. You know, that's something you're probably not gonna see around very often. Um I got the punchline uh, variant. I said I'd do 15 on if anybody's interested. Which which one do you want, Poser? Do you want Classic Electra or the Daredevil Electra? For 25 each, you tell me what you want. I'll get you either one. Got any, any Angel or Buffy fans out there tonight? Anybody's interested in stuff like this? Five bucks if anybody's if anybody's an angel fan. I don't know this dude's name. You want both for fifty? You got a poser. Um, okay, Roman. I got I got a couple sets of those, so I can take care of both of you. Let me just pull them. Okay, so I got a set uh, set for Poser, a set for Roman. Hey, Roman, I sent I sent you. Uh, you probably just didn't see it. I sent you an IG. Um, whenever you get a chance, if you just you know, let me know. No big deal. Let me write this down. Poser Roman. Okay. So we got those for you guys. Uh, and then I got the, I think I showed the, a moment ago, I showed the two. Yeah, the two, the two, um, oh wait, that's the, that's not the same. This is, these are the two, these are both a hundred each if anybody's interested in the Harley 75s. I should take them out of the bags, you can't really see them. These are Harley 75s, this is the Jay on Shiletto cover. You got Harley... Punchline, Joker. Uh, got that one. And then I got the one with just Harley. This is Cal New Cover. That one's a hundred. Oh, Poser, you know what? I got, you, I got you on the shirt. Just tell me what size you need. And if I have it, I got you. How's that? If I have to order it, I'm going to make you pay for it. But if I got it, I'll, I'll hook you up. This one is the is the Virgin. This one was 150 I have t-shirts, uh, poser. So if I have a t-shirt that fits you, I got you on that. Um, I have a couple sets available of the Miracle Molly set, the first appearance for 12 bucks. Dang, the B cover. Mm. B 
these covers have been kind of on fire. These uh, homage covers on Immortal Hulk. This is an homage to, um, you know, Days of Future Past, X-Men 141. From a different angle, but still pretty cool. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll, how about we do an auction? I'll just start this at cover price, four bucks. And maybe somebody gets it for cover price. Somebody, maybe it goes for a little more. I don't know. I'll do a starting line. There you go. You know, if there's no interest in the Hulk, that's cool. No worries. Poser, just hit me up on um on IG and hit me with your size and stuff and Okay. I think if somebody was interested in the Hulk, they would have been by now, so let's just I'm gonna drop an in. I think I'm good, Parker. I think I pretty much ran through it. Oh god lay, dog lay. Um I can do all of that myself. Trick, are you still alive? Yeah, I'm here. What are you doing? Still in a cell? Oh, I'm just chilling in the dark. I'm just chilling in the goddamn Not dark. weird at all. It's, it's four hours and 18 minutes. That's come a year. 26, really? What's up, Poser? How are you, bro? Uh... My uh, auction is over there in the corner, so I've had a, I've had enough to drink to where I don't feel like I need to go grab it because I'll fall over and fall asleep on the floor. But sure, yeah, I appreciate you all for coming out. Um, Tricky Traps signing off. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for bidding. Listen, I had a thing where I said to myself, "I'm gonna do a commission for anyone who." Uh, is my highest bidder. That person was Shutter Duck. So Shutter Duck hit me up. What's up, uh, K-pop? What's up, Poser? Hit me up, uh, Shutter Duck, and I will do you a commission. Uh, you were my highest bender tonight, and that's the deal. So, thank you. I know, I know, I know, guys. I'm handsome. You don't have to keep repeating yourself in the chat. <laughs> I don't think anybody said that. Nobody well, said that. Well, you know, in my personal chat, they they just kept saying it. Is that called your imagination? Is that called your imagination? No, no. On my on my DMs, on my DMs, Todd, they just said, "Man, you're okay. so much more handsome than everyone else in the show." And I was like, "Okay, you know, I can't hold it." So. <laughs> Those are crazy. Take your well, word thank you, it. Tricky. Appreciate having you. Um. Cool. I'll do one little round. One more. Um. I have a bunch of buy it nows. I think I want to auction this book right here. You guys ready for this? Change it up. A bit. Flip the script. Archie's pals and gals. Changing it up. 
Um, somebody's interested in that, I would do like five dollars starting bid, five bucks. So feel free to bid on that. It's it's older, it's thicker, it's in good shape. Not good shape. It would uh, be more like fine shape. Very good to fine shape. Now it's uh, a good mid grade copy. Um, fine minus probably. BG plus fine minus. Um, $5 if anyone wants that. I'm going to go through and buy it now. And then that will be it for me. And I believe this whole entire ShamWow. It's my best word for it. Gargoyles number one. Uh, in a VF plus, there's like two, one, two, two to three ticks. I see three. Three ticks. They break color. Um, it's a new stand. It's the embossed version. I'm feeling it for you. It's embossed. Um, great shape. I'm going to put some mylar. But the embossing. How embossed it is. That is boss. Uh, two hundred dollars. Buy it now. Two hundred. Just spin straight up. Buy it now. Gargoyles number one. First print. New stand. Embossed. VF plus. Two hundred. Um, also two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Silverhawks number one, two and three. There's three comics in here. Sealed. In this little uh, bag, bag bag, I don't know what to call it, comics bag, grab bag, mystery bag. Not really that much of a, a not that much of a mystery mystery pack. Silverhawks one, two, and three. Um, two hundred dollars buy it now. Conditions are near mint. Very fine plus. To, honestly, they're all. I don't know how I would grade it. Near mint minus to near mint. The worst condition in there is probably a straight near mint minus. I think they would all be 9.4 to 9.6, maybe 9.8 for one of them. So whatever, 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 however you want to grade that. They're good. They're, they're good. They're good to go. They can't, you can't, like, get the whole bag. You can't get them all graded without having them open it up. So, I mean, whatever. Who cares? Okay. Transformers number one. Very fine condition. Very fine minus to very fine. Uh, new stand. Ooh. I'll do 100 $100 buy it now. Sinky cover. Um, Carnage Mind Bomb. Uh, near Mint Minus just has one little tick on the back cover. That's a great color. Uh, I could do uh, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Can't go any less. 80. I can. I won't go any less. That work that better? That work better for you? 80. And for 50, I could do 40. Is uh this? It's uh one of those Plan of the Symbiotes super specials where it's a flip book. One side is like Carnage and Venom on the other side. It's pretty cool. Plan of the Symbiotes. Uh, this is the other side. It's um Farland one cover swipe format whatever. But it's a newsstand and it's a 90s book. I'm like 96, 95, 96. Here's the other side. Well, that uh, cool shiny foiliness. I'd say near mint minus shape. New stand. So I have 50 on it. I said I could do 40, didn't I? Forty dollars. Also for 40, my last two books I'll show. Mortal Kombat: Blood and Thunder. This is, uh, I don't know if this is the first, like, cover appearance of one of these two. I don't know. I don't think so. Scorpion Sub-Zero. It's issue five. I think it went six issues. Maybe it kept going. Maybe that was regular Mortal Kombat. I don't really remember. 
I had a handful of these as a kid. I don't remember which ones. But $40 for that. It's VF plus, near mint minus. 40 and also for 40 huh? Yeah. 40 on that. Space Usagi, number one. And it's fine, very fine. There's a lot of ticks. Like at least more than five. Less than eight. Yeah, seven ticks. So I call it like a fine plus, very fine. Meh. Good shape besides that. So Space Usagi number one, forty dollars. Those are all by now. If you saw something you like, catch us on the rewind. If I went too fast, go back and check. DM me, message me on Instagram. Let's work a debt, work out a deal. And yeah, if you guys didn't want this, that was my auction. Time is obviously up. Archie's pals and gals. Number forty one. Giant, thick, big, juicy Riverdale Madness. Woohoo! I hate Archie so much. Let's read it. Wow, go go mood. Here is very contagious. Yeah, even my money has caught the go go spirit. Ha 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 Thanks everybody for being here. Whoever was on the panel, whoever showed up in the chat, whoever bought, whoever didn't buy. Hey, can I, can I do, just say something real quick? I want to ask somebody in the chat a question. Sure. Yeah. I'm, don't um, talk. No, I see. I see. I think I saw Sean Ryder post something. Reader, Sean, if you're out there, I think I have books for you, and I don't know how to contact you. So if you could hit me up on IG don't. or email, Gorilla Todd Comics at gmail.com or Gorilla Todd Comics on IG. Um, please do so. If I'm mistaken, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure I have books for you, and I'm just not sure how to reach out to you. That's it. But thanks, thanks, Parker. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being alive. Thanks for existing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Also, Sean, hit me up. You owe me yeah. a lot of money. This guy owes me a ton of money. <laughs> Where did Cat go? Cat just left. He didn't say goodbye, did he? Cat just bailed at one point. He did. That's, His, that's he very cat like. He fell asleep. Uh huh. And now Tricky left. I mean, uh, no, Parker. It's good Parker to see left. you, Todd. Yeah, Listen, good to see you, guys. Tricky. Be well, man. And he's back. I was like, is the stream over? Cool, Sean. Appreciate it. <laughs> I've been having I'll a mic. Stay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, sub taught up on uh, Instagram. Oh, there's Parker. You, yeah, you, you know, I appreciate Parker. all the subs on YouTube or in follows on Instagram, whatever. <laughs> you know, that's what I want. It, it seems to be happening. So, you know, I appreciate it. Keep your. I, I, I appreciate the momentum. There you yeah. go. Good up, man. You're yeah. on a roll. I'm but I say <laughs> you can keep your uh, your little uh, YouTube su subscriptions. Just go follow me on IG. That's what I want. I want to hit ten thousand <laughs> on IG. I'm really close. Parker has almost ten thousand followers on Instagram. Oh hey, I have I have hats now too. Look, you've hats. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know. Uh, that's, uh, that's tempting. Mm -hmm. that's cool. yeah, I have nice trucker I'm selling, style hats. Yeah. Oh, I like I'm selling, that. That's my style. Yeah. I'm selling ass hats if you guys are interested. But and uh, for your frosty beverages, food. I have coasters. I would use that. Um, I would gladly put a drink on your gorilla. Well, I'll tell you what, man. When we when you buy some more books from me, we got to figure out where we are in our little trade deal. That's right. I, my motivation was pretty much hopefully you'd be like, hey, I need that, I need that, and then I could be like, okay, how much? Where are we at? Yeah, and then I hit a stopping point. I hit a wall. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you got like, yeah, amount. Yeah, I've I've tried to like I put it up for sale like one or two other times. And I just keep raising the price on it just to see like hey, if it sells for this much more, I'm doing it. Uh, sure. Nobody's buying it. No, nobody's buying it. Nobody's it's buying my it. book. Come on, it's your book. <laughs> no, I just I got the the trucker style hats. 
Poser, sorry. Oh, yeah, you guys need to go sub up Comic Book Poser on Instagram as well. Always try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poser's where it's at. Go, go sub up Poser on YouTube. Yeah, you got to catch Poser sleeping on the stream. It's the best thing ever. No, no, listen. Here, here's what's up. If, you guys, it's comics, so, if you guys read comics, if you guys read comics, you'll like Poser's it's, channel. It's so Poser's calming and relaxing. Yeah. I say that with love, not with not not with um ridicule. Yeah. Shout out to anyone who actually reads book these books these days. Imposer's one of those guys. Yeah, I can't wait to read this thing. This is my next reading mission. That'll be tight. That'll be dope. <clears throat> Monsters by Barry Windsor Smith. As well. Good night, everybody. It's been fun hanging out with you, with everybody in the chat. Check that out. I got this recently. The art of Basil Gogo. Basil Gogo. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. I haven't really gone through it yet, but I got he does, it. like the classic monsters. Yeah. I uh, love it. I love it. So good. <laughs> you guys need to see this stuff. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, he does like the classic Universal monsters and on every fucking page, every page of it is monsters. You can't even see. I can't. You can't do it justice. You got to get this on your own. You get the, get, you get the taste. You get the taste. Get it. I'm gonna look through that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. Thanks for being here. I do have a question for your partner, but later. Later. Goodbye. Where's Tricky? I got to come out of here. Come out here. Oh, shit. You change from the ambiguously gay duo to Hyperion. Yeah, that yeah, happens now and again. Yeah. Spread that spine. I'll show it off a little. It's really fucking cool. Yes, do. Do so. Oh, my God. I mean, this shit's cool. Even the stupid fan art's great. Like his little kid art. All right. Stop looking at it myself and show it. Oh, it's a cool Star Wars day. That's cool. Frankenstein. Those are really that cool. Out. That's awesome. Those are cool. I love the old Universal Monsters. Yeah, classics. There's a way I can like, do it like this. You can see some of it faster. I just think it's just you gotta shove it right to the camera. Probably. It's a weird angle now. Yeah, what? Well, like I can do that, but I can't. Oh, you're right. I can, that's like Dark Shadows. Name Ghost Rider? What? Is that Nicolas Cage? Yeah, it would just be uh, Danny Catch, probably. I don't, I don't know. know. That might be. That might be like a movie concept or something. Yeah. Ooh, that way. Oh, what's some cool shit? Oh, oh that's, that's the it. Conrad Vite. That's that Joker inspiration. That one, it's a silent movie that the Joker was inspired by. Oh, yeah. there's Ming the Merciless. Max von Snydo from Flash Gordon. Ooh. Ah, go. Oh, that's pretty. Ah, Bride of Frankenstein, nice. Bye. Preacher, I have a poster on the wall. man. Yeah. Gilly Bean. I have some ba basil, 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 basil posters up behind, uh, right behind us. In front of me, behind you, camera. That's a creepy one. Oh! I don't know. That's about enough. There's a werewolf of London and one the other ride. one. The Hunchback. I can't keep doing this. Okay. That's it. That's enough. Sweet! You guys should check that shit out. Monster one. Squad. I know that one, K-pop. Ooh, Ingrid Pitt. Pit. got Nards. Yeah. Ingrid Pitt. That's great. Yeah. Most famous lesbian vampire, I guess. Well, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw him in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. 
man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. It was like there we go. Show showed it. Alright. We're done here. We're done here. That's enough. Enough is enough. Cool. Right, well thanks for watching. It's a great ender. Phoebe, what? Cool. That's nice. Right on. Well peace guys. Farewell. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumb before you go. And stay safe out there. Stay classy. Saint Diego. I don't know.